Ah, oh, it's gonna be the last stream with the green background, isn't it? It's gonna be, uh, orange next week, isn't it? Also, yes, I know the stream VOD is on the 1st of October, but I don't care. Anyway, 3, 2, 1! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the b and stream today on this fine 30th of September 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, again, you know the drill, but I feel like I've gotten very productive over this past week. So that's been good fun. Um, I hope you've been very productive if, wherever you are. And if you haven't been productive, then I hope this week will be productive for you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so let's dive into today's game, shall we? Uh, so hold on, let me do the jump. Uh, oh, oh. It's a him, my Mario. There we go. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's a, it's a nice, well, it's, it's a bit cooler recently in the Sydney land. But uh, yeah, no, we're we'll diving into Mario 64. In the last stream, uh, we basically did the entirety of... Uh, three worlds, um, or five worlds, rather, not three, five, uh, which was, uh, Hazy Maze Cave, Lethal Lava Land, Shifting Sand Land, Dire Dire Docks, and, uh, the one, the only, Snowman's Land. And, uh, in this stream, we're gonna try and finish off the whole game. And perhaps if I have enough time, I can do a impromptu off the top of my head speed run, but, uh, we'll see. I don't really have too much to show with a speed run, so... Uh, but yeah, we got this fancy little level over here, uh, which involves this uh, scuttlebug, which is green as well. Uh, <coughs> oh my gosh. Uh, this is Wet Dry World, and Wet Dry World has a fun, uh, gimmick, which is as you enter the level, depending on how high you jump into the painting, the water level is immediately on that level. I believe, off the top of my head, I think one of the, like, the, the depths of the water level is actually, like, higher than any of the other settings. I don't think you're ever, like, blocked into having to uh, activate it at pet height, but it is uh, kind of interesting that uh, that's the case. Um, it's a bit of a precarious kind of level as well. There's a lot of interesting little ledges everywhere and places that it's very easy to you know, fall off or get hit. Uh, the reason why I'm being a little careful here is because one of the stars is right there. Your power is back! You didn't miss anything. Don't worry, my man. Don't worry. That is the first star of the stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh, there's been, um, a lot of weekend news. You know, the kind of news where it's like, you're waiting in the week, you're waiting for stuff to, to happen. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. Top of the town is, uh, the top of, uh, this town. There's actually, this this level consists of two parts. Uh, there's a weird little, uh, you know, I guess you can kind of see, there's a gap in the top of the, the, the fence, and uh, there's a hole that goes into a secondary part of the level. We'll get there eventually, but we're not there now. Uh, there's lots of little switches and things like that. It's a bit of a tricky level in terms of the stuff going on. Uh, and you can see that there's a star in there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm doing these stars in order. We'll just do them in whichever order I feel like. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's these, uh... These boxes here. Uh, and you need to activate all five in order to get a... <laughs> get a star. Well, not that one. Five spots. Completely forgotten where all these spots are, but... Despite all your rage, you are still just a star in a cage. That is true. Oh, I didn't... I didn't even open it. I didn't even open it. Sure. Uh, there are so many coins in this level, by the way. You're gonna be hard pressed to not find coins in this one. This one's a fairly easy one. Obviously, there's the ten coins in each of these boxes. But on top of that, uh, I'm gonna need to lower the water level as well. But uh, on top of that, yeah, that's that whole secondary part of the level, which has all the red coins. So I think, but I think it is possible. That first star without the warp. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I always do it in a bit of a weird way. Uh, I believe the... Where's the... The lowest... Have I just missed it? I've completely forgotten the layout. I'm like, where's the little... The, the thing to... Um, that's just... That just moves in the wall a little bit. Uh, what's the, the one switch that 
lowers the water level all the way. I've forgotten where it is. Yeah, again, more blue coins. It's like, we're already at 60. I might as well just go for 100 coins at this point. Alright. Uh, I'm sad that it doesn't seem to be any scuttle bugs in Mario Party Jamboree. That's a shame. That's a shame. There needs to be scuttle bugs in every Mario game from this point on. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I thought I was in that direction. I just didn't wander over there. But yeah, see again, more coins everywhere. There's coins everywhere in this level. Tons. Funny number. They debuted in this game and they deserve to be in every game. It's a bit of a curious spot for a box, isn't it? Why is this box here? Uh, Jamboree actually has some interesting additions no one expected. Ooh! I'm glad that there's just a normal Mario Party after, like, so long. There you go. There's your star for getting all the secrets. But, uh, I don't know. We're at 85. I might as well just go for 100 at this point. Uh, these things love flicking you up. Uh... I know there's a bunch of coins on that ledge. I'm just curious if there's some other ones off the top of my head. Um, I love the uh, the little Bowser logo on the side. It's very hard to spot, but it's there. Um, oops. Oh, oh. You don't take damage. Well, you, you don't take damage if you manage to go up a ledge, but... Okay, we're at 91. Uh, for example, they added a promo to regular Mario Party and makes things a little less reliant on luck. That's nice. That's nice. Because I know some people, like, you know, as, as, oh. as much as Mario Party is a, a good fun time, it's also a bit aggravating. We'll just do a old fashioned wall jump up there. Okay, let's get this guy, because this guy gives you five coins if you manage to get him right. He doesn't get stuck on the ledge. He doesn't throw you off. Tell you where the bonus stars at the start of the game. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I feel like there's a bunch of ways that you can do, um, like, some skill base. Oh my gosh, the camera here. I want to tilt it one way and it's like, no, no, no. Hold on, like, if we go into Mario mode, it's like, really what I want is just to... Uh, oh. <laughs> it's just to have it, like, straight behind me. I'm very certain... I mean, that's a star up there. Hey, oh, nope, we're off by one. We're off by one. My silly, is there, is there one spot with a, with a... Ah, there you go. There you go. You gotta choose an item on the side. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Here we go! There we go. And that's all without even going into the other part of the level with the red coins. There's so many in this level. I love it as well, you know exactly where all the other stars are as well. So, <laughs> top of the town, which uh, wasn't quite the one I was I was looking for, but close enough. Campaign mode, ooh! Like the Mario uh, Party DS had the, the <laughs> sort of campaign mode. Okay, let's, uh, let's get away from that guy. Oh, I jumped off. I jumped off. <laughs> uh, but that's good. So, I'm glad that there's, there's a bunch of games coming out recently that um, are good fun. Having another Mario Party after a while is great. Uh, the new Zelda. You know, what, what if Zelda was a girl? That came out. Um, you go around the boards without restrictions, don't have to roll dice, and you talk to the characters and collect mini stars. Ooh! That's interesting. Oh, let's not jump off again. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Four down. 
35 to go. <laughs> so a high jump, shall we? I feel like the high jump's a bit excessive, but okay. Express elevator! Hurry up! So, uh, yeah, this is, um... This is a curious one. I believe you gotta raise the water level up all the way. So... Unless this is all the way. Oh wait, no wait, it's not all the way, but I do need to lower it just a tiny bit because uh, the camera is stuck on this ledge. I cannot see at all where I am. <laughs> there we go. Um, neither of these were in the trailers. Hey, I, I kind of like being surprised by just like hidden features, you know? It's good fun. I hope you appreciate I'm still not taking the warp, apparently. Um, this is a bit of a curious spot, but yeah, with the um, with the water level up to this point, and if I can somehow jump up here, yeah, the, the bomb's just chilling up here. <laughs> and you're gonna want this bomb because you need to have that ready. So we can use this to get up. Oh, I need to lower the water level, don't I? doesn't fear death. I, yeah, this seems like a very perilous spot. I guess it, when you're not lit, it's okay. Alright, let's lower the water all the way down. There are so many 3D platformers, by the way, that are probably directly inspired by this level, having a switching water level uh, kind of area. I know, um, uh, Ocarina of Time is an absolute classic example of a, a game. Um, by the way, uh, if you're wondering where the warp was, I believe it's right there. Yeah. It's a cheeky spot, but it, it gets you. Gets it going. Uh, we could use this to get to the end. That's what they're guiding you there for. I I've never seen anyone get both of these warps in one go. But uh, we'll just kind of aim flat over here. Greetings, Blub. How's it going? Oh, I trapped the scuttle bug up here. Hello. He is actually lost. Background is a photo of a city in Spain. Alright, so what's the secret with uh, being up here? The trick is you gotta stand on this, which then lowers enough for you to come back and wall jump up onto the ledge. And then you just ride it up. Did an oopsie last Friday. Some of the pins on the CPU. Oh no, that's. Oh. Oops. That's always pain bending it. Is it, um. What, uh. What. What processor you have? Because, uh, yeah, if it's like AM4, then it's a uh, PGA, so. Well, pins are the CPU, so, yeah, it would be AM4, right? Here we go. I feel like it's easier to ship when it's the processor, although it's the one with the pin, so it's like, I'm mean, gonna be careful anyways, but, um... Here we go, so, both of the remaining stars are in the town. Uh, one is cited as the red coin star, so we'll, we'll go for that one. And, uh, yeah. What dry world is like? Such a calm, peaceful level. And out of all the ones, like, on the top floor, it is actually my favorite one. I'm not expressing it too much, but I love just, like, the puzzle, the exploration, the figuring things out, even if it looks like I'm just sort of breezing it. It's like, the- how you get up this level is, like, such a- such a bizarre thing, because it's not really clear-cut. Even when they've got the arrows, it's like, yeah, that's a bit of a high- high leap. Alright, so do a- do a- just a long shot. You know, aim up like 45 degrees or so, you'll hit over the wall. And uh, once you're over the wall, there's uh, no going back, so if you're doing 100 coins, don't worry about this. Ryzen, uh, well, because the new AM5 Ryzen's, and, uh, new as in 2022 uh, onwards, so uh, 7000s and 9000s are LGA, so the pins are on the motherboard again. Um, No pin broke. Uh, so there's a metal cap up here, which is a 
been interesting because uh, I didn't need to go down, but sure. You can drain the water. There's not really any hard reason why I need to, like, be metal to go along the ground. Although you can do this thing, which is a bit interesting. Ah, oh, I was gonna say if you can if you can do that and you can hit the other cap, you can sort of do the swimming, which is a bit of a curious point. Um, and I, I, I want to see if I can get that metal Mario. All right, let's get the metal. We have to oh, on the wrong side of the fence again. Get Metal Mario outside. Um, Mario Kart 8? I feel. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Never mind! Never mind! The box does not want to be opened while it's underwater. That's a bit intriguing. That's a bit intriguing. But yeah, there's a few more uh, star or coins around here, so. Uh, okay, we need to figure out how to lower the water level. No, there's a switch somewhere. I just <laughs> completely forgotten where it is. There it is. Metal Mario and his GF pink gold peach. I feel like that can lead to corrosion. Uh, this probably just reveals some boxes to help you jump up. Yeah, it's nothing too fancy, but... You know, we're on the lookout for red coins, so... Like that one. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I feel like I feel like I have uh, exclusively uh, controversy news today. So that's that's always good fun. I controversy news is always like I don't know. I don't do this for like clicks or anything. Um, but I feel like a, a lot of people on my timeline are just like not controversy baited. But uh, what's the term? It's very easy to invoke discussions and get things about things that, uh, you know, people are like, Oh, I'm strongly opinionated on that. I, I don't know, it always comes up, so... Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, I'll, di I'll dive into it. I'll, I'll try and be as, uh, as, uh, candid about it. Uh, so the first one I've got on my, um, on my, uh, timeline is, uh, um, uh, what is it? The, how do we, how do we phrase it? Community managers. Community managers. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Actually, you may be able to live without them. Because it seems like they're a very recent trend in the world of the internet. Uh, I know things like Wendy's Twitter has been there for ages. And Wendy's Twitter is perhaps one of the most uh, notorious classic examples. I like Wendy's Twitter because Wendy's Twitter is like one of the OGs on just like posting memes. I know you're meant to like swim this, but... I think it's good fun if you manage to jump up here. Uh, Wendy's Twitter is one of the... Oh, oh, oh. Wendy's Twitter is one of the classic for the memes. You got the one where it's like... The guy betting, oh, if I get like... How many likes do you need to get? 100,000? And you give me a lifetime supply of tendies. And they were like, it's on. And they actually honored that, so... Um, but ultimately, a community uh, manager is uh, meant to, you know basically be easy advertising for the company. Obviously you need to have a bit of a public image, a bit of a front face, and if you do it a bit aggressively and in a way that uh, can connect with the masses, that's what you're, that's, you know, you're doing a good job then. Uh, introduce uh, the Godot game engine. Uh, Godot is a game engine that I've tried out a few times. I don't, I mean, I don't program games uh, for a living, so I've never really made anything too fancy, but Godot is a, um, uh, as an engine, I'd say it's decently matured in the sense of it has a lot of features that um, I like. It's got nested uh, prefabs, uh, it's got scenes, it's got um, nice functionality to do both. Uh, I think it's it's generally geared to being a 2D engine, but um, there's a lot of nice things about it. Uh, you can obviously tell where I'm about to go, connect two and two together. Did you know yesterday was election day in Australia when I told an Austrian friend to annoy him? <laughs> yeah, no. We, we had an election day, uh, the New South Wales had a local election, like, four weeks ago. <laughs> um, Godot is nice, yeah. I, what I, what I hope, because I'm about to say, community, community, uh, managers, uh, sometimes, uh, do silly things, and also the public image... 
I wrote a small game with three others five years ago on a small local game jam using Goddard. Very nice, very nice. I do like... <laughs> this scuttlebug. I do like, um... I mean, it's an open source engine as well, and I think there's a lot of, like, great things out of these, uh, these other, um, engines kind of breaking the Unreal Unity hegemony going on, where it's like, you know, I do want more specialized things. I, I appreciate Game Maker has, uh, you know, stepped up a bit, uh, and being that one. Um, what's another, what's another game engine? Stride 3D, that one's a, a pretty decent one. And then obviously anything that's like older but still, you know, great. Unreal Engine 1, exactly. Pico 8, yeah, 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 there's tons of them. Um, so, uh, the negative aspect of what's happening recently is uh, Godot's uh, community manager via the official Godot uh, uh, Twitter, basically, I, I don't even know if this was in response to anything. It just out of nowhere uh, says, just goes, Apparently game engines are woke now. Well then, we won't complain. Rainbow emoji, show us your hashtag wokeot games below down arrow. Now, like, on, on the surface, I completely see what this is. It's like, okay, well, we're trying to, you know, do a theme for showing off kind of, you know, themed games. Uh, yeah, too, too smug. Yeah, there's a bit of that. Um, I, I'm, like, I don't know, I think woke means a lot of different things for different people, and certainly I think everyone can agree uh, some of those opinions are negative towards the term. Um, I believe it's just a... Yeah, oh, the camera is always terrible in here, I'll tell you that. Um, oh, I'm trying to do a wall jump off this wall. Oh, come on, come on. Does Mario not want to do a wall jump off that wall? What am I doing wrong? There's a close wall. I've jumped at this like ten times. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a very, it's a very, um, oh my goodness, what? Because it's, it's not liking me wall jumping off that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm, o I'm okay wall jumping off that. Where did I go? I lost, I, I, oh, I don't know the song off the top of my head. Yeah, I, I mean, this is this is a classic Twitter moment, isn't it? Where it's just like, here is here is a very like in your face kind of message, and I'm not I'm not saying I I personally think that whatever anyone's opinion uh, has about like the word woke or, or really any of this, it's like it just kind of happened. It's just out of there, sure. Also saying I don't know. I I think the negative connotations are like a you know like I, how would I put it? If you wanted to make a, um, a, uh, post about, uh, like, gay pride or things like that, um, I just feel like there's, like, a lot of other words you could use, and then people won't, like, have, have any notion of that. Um, but, uh, point is, is that there's a, also, uh, we're in Tiny Huge Island. I may have jumped the gun on the, ah, we're on course 13. I've gone out of order, I'm sorry, I've gone out of order. Um, I always go in here instead of a uh, tall, tall mountain, but, uh, Tiny Huge Island is, uh, one of the trickier levels. Um, because, uh, you've got, well, a tiny one and a big one. I betrayed you. <laughs> oh, yeah, am I going out of order? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, what nationality? Uh, it's uh, American. I'm very certain American. Um, some people were doing some sleuthing for the actual community manager, and there's a few, uh, like, red flag posts about actually being a bit addicted to, um, like, antidepressants. Um, I'm gonna jump the gun and do the, this one star. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, Tiny Huge Island has a lot of- what is the first star? Pluck the pro- oh, this isn't even like- I'm going really out of order. Okay, Tiny Huge Island for reference. Uh, you got these pipes, it goes between a small version and a large version of the island. Uh, but treat them as like two very separate kind of levels because all the coins are separate, so. It's a- yeah. Um, I would definitely say American, there's a lot of, um... I, American things I saw in the, the, like, the post history. I don't really think we should note particularly the person, um, who, who did this, because I feel like singling out this, uh, community manager is, like, a bit aggressive. Rather, it is Godot the company should, uh, you know, make amends. And I'm not saying, like, fire this person. I'm just saying, like, okay, like, 
the behavior afterwards, this tweet, is you start going, Oh, thanks for showing your opinions blocked. Like, kind of... Oh, wait, hold on, we did... Well, I might as well go in here anyways. Um... Should I be in here? No, no, because I'm not doing the red... I'm not doing 100 coins yet. I need to do 100 coins before I do red coin. I'm going really just out of order, I'll tell you that. Okay, um... Yeah, this level... How do I frame it? It wraps around... You got this little hole here that you can only go in if you're tiny. Yeah, uh, no one... I I don't think it's it's great to be, you know, to be smug on the internet. And just going, like, blocking people. Uh, just for, like, saying things like, focus on the engine, not politics. Like, I don't know, like, yeah, like, why do you need to block people for saying stuff like that? Like, uh, you just highlight attention to yourself if you're doing that. Um, Pepe memes apparently are kind of linked with the right-wing stuff in the USA as far as I know. Meanwhile, here in Germany, it has remained a well-liked meme. I put myself in a weird position because, uh, yeah, this is a very weird jump right here, and I always get very cautious about it. I've done this level in a very bizarre order. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, th there's a bit on there's a bit on the how. I also think um, just yeah, the, the actions afterwards are blocking people, and it's and the reason why I bring up this guy who said focus on the engine. This is a guy called uh, at Life Art Studios. At Life Art Studios, if you go to funds.go. or fund.go.engine.org, you will see that he is a titanium backer. He is one of uh, 30 or so people who uh, s donates 100 euros or more, but not 250, because otherwise he'd be the platinum backer, um, a month to Godot to fund its development. And, uh,. He's casually banned, uh, or blocked from the, the account, or uh, from, from the Twitter. And that doesn't mean too much. Um, I love this boss fight just out of nowhere as well. Everyone likes the Wiggler! He's cool. I, the trick with him is you gotta jump on his face. Ish. And then you can bounce on his head forever, because he needs to <laughs> kick him with a bit of dialogue. I can't take this anymore. First you get me all wet, then you stomp on me. Now I'm really angry. On the DS version, this is uh, visually a bit different, but on the 64, it's just... Now you're asking for it, Linguini Breath. He jumps. As long as he's jumping, he's doing okay. But it's really straightforward. It's <laughs> three bounces on his head. He's like, I give you some stuff. Oh my gosh, extreme close-up of the Wiggler face. The anger. I love how many enemies in this game are just like the sphere sprite. Like, it, like it's just a bunch of sprites. And then he's tiny. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's somewhere around here. Uh, this was a very out-of-water star. I just, I just picked this one up. Make Wiggler squirm. Spheres are perfect, especially pictures of spheres, where you can clearly see the, uh, the aliasing around it, so... That was star number six, I'm glad we jumped straight to the end. Um, cause star number one, oh, for reference as well, as you saw in the overworld, uh, there's a painting to the center, that is not where you go. But there's a painting on the left, which immediately starts the level in small world. Or I guess the island is small. And, uh... Painting on the right, which leads into big world, depending on how you want to start the level. So that's five piranha plants here. If you manage to defeat all of them in the big world, that's when the star appears. That's the first star. I just completely blanked out. I immediately took some shortcut jumps and just went all over the place. So, uh, but yeah, though no, this Life Art Studio is, um, yeah, a titanium level backer. He's uh, he's not happy. He's a bit patient, but he's not happy. And I feel like that's a, oh yeah, the big ninety. Yeah. So this is the tip top of the huge island. Of the huge island? Yes. Which means we got to flip sides. Uh, there's this jump right here, which I'm just like, I love, because it gets you, it gets you there. Now, if we can get up here, there was a star. I know, right? There's like two stars right next to each other as well. Because as we go along this walkway, and we jump up here, this was a star right here. It's like, come on, you gotta go up here anyways for the for the Wiggler star. Um, 
this community manager has gone a bit, um, uh, over the top. Like, over the top. Not, not because of banning people from Twitter, because Twitter is Twitter, like, uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But from the GitHub, starts being a bit, a bit intriguing, because the GitHub is like, hey, like, sometimes people back your project and then they want to, like, you know, watch it or contribute to it or anything. Uh, the race with Cooper the Quick, by the way, is, uh, go to the, the huge island, and you'll head over here. And Cooper the Quick is chilling right here, along with the big Goombas. Uh, fun fact with the big Goombas, I believe if you ground pound them, you get a blue coin. Keep that in mind, that'll be very useful. Uh, he is actually really quick in this one. Long time no see. Wow, have you gotten fast? Have you been training on the sly, or is it the power of the stars? I've been feeling down about losing the last race. This is my home course. How about a rematch? I think he says he lost last time, even if you didn't do the Cooper the Quick, uh, star. Because <laughs> you can technically pick any star from, uh, well, you can't even do Cooper the Quick on your, as your first star, but, um, there's a couple of different ones you can pick. Um, he's not... It was a bit tricky of a race, but the race isn't too far. Just gotta get across this bridge without him, like, casually, like, rushing up past you. And the star is- uh, the, the flag's over there. That's not the speedrun route, there are much quicker ones as well. Since you got a pipe on both ends, you could probably- I don't know if you can actually switch island sizes, I don't think he actually lets you. Which is a bit of a shame, but... And here I am, just blazing through these stars, always starting with the <laughs> the huge island, because at least I can do the the change real quick. Five itty bitty secrets. Oh gosh, which one's this one? Which one is the itty bitty secrets? Um. Oh gosh. Oh, let's just jump up here and see where we go. Um, on top of that, this community manager, um, on the official Discord, by the way, uh, has, uh, gone on about how people, uh, you know, I, I consider your speech to be toxic vomit. Uh, lots of swearing, which, uh, you know, convinces people that your opinion is therefore correct. Uh, can you swim off the edge? No, it's like a weird, like, invisible wall there. Okay, there I go. I think the itty bitty secrets are, um... All on the, uh... All on the big world, so... Actually, well, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what's over on that one ledge first. Because you saw the switch there. The switch is only there on the tiny island, and it makes all these, uh... Blocks that you can run across. Seems a bit perilous, but... Uh, then you're on this platform. Where there is one coin. And then it warps you. Back to here. Which is very nice. Never trust anyone who's proud of blocking- yeah, exactly. Um, and, uh, just to top it off, uh, this person has, uh, used the N-word on that Discord, uh, like, seven times. All in 2016. It's kinda old, but it's there. I feel like this is a, you know, reap what you sow. If you're gonna be the kind of person who, like, you know, it's gonna block people over, like, having, like, a, you know, being insensitive. It's like, you can't, you can't have that stuff there. Yeah, a, a bit of a hypocrite. Um, now, this person, I think, is a tragic story. Not as in, like, you know, they've really done anything that <laughs> creatures other than, like, being a, a, a poor community manager. Like, uh, you know, one solution to this is literally, like, firing this person and then just having someone make amends. There you go. Other than this person's career is gone. Um, but what I would really want is just the making amends. I really want, like, you know, hey, let's highlight that, like, it's not on to be blocking people over this kind of stuff. And I completely get if you, you know, swing and miss. If you're a community manager and you're just like, oh, like, you know, I've, I've suddenly just upset a bunch of people. Realize that you've upset people and just like move on or sometimes apologize as well. Sometimes not saying anything It's actually really good, but like quintupling down is uh Not good Uh the Use the yeah the shell you can actually ride up these ledges I can 
use that to come up here. And you can then say hi. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, which level has the bomb in Which star has the bomb in it? Where's the bomb hiding? It's a lot of fun places. The bomb we're making amends. You get people like the manager. Well, yeah, it's weird. The CEO has just casually got some tweets before he privated his account saying, Oh, I don't see what the problem is, guys. Like, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, that's not, you know. The people who were upset at you before are continually being upset by every action you're making right now. It's not great uh, for those. And I, I, like, I'm not saying I'm an active user. Yeah, silence is gold. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying I'm, like, a real active user on the Godot engine. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That jump is so strange. Oh, my gosh. I have actually completely forgotten where the five secrets... The five itty-bitty secrets. I want to say, actually, maybe they're on the big world, because I'm thinking to myself, like, one of- yeah, one of the secrets is there. I think one of the secrets is this door on the- yeah, I think they're just the- the entryways, basically. All the places that you can leave. Oh, there's the bomb. Oh, well, I'm gonna need him. Five hours stream. Oh. Ah, we're all good. <laughs> It's not a mystery to me. When people inadvertently behave- yeah. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And uh, at the end of the day, like, I, I, I bring up Wendy's Twitter more as a, a cautionary tale because I feel like a lot of companies feel like they need to be that aggressive on social media. They need to like, just go, hey, you know, I'm loud, I'm proud, like that kind of stuff. It's like, no, like, you're here to, you know, be the community representative of the Godot engine. Your intention for that moment, I completely am like fine with you doing. If you want to highlight, you know, your, your, you know, like LGBT games, other than, you know, like you can go for that. That's fine. Uh, I'm dying on the fourth one. It's just, yeah, it's the way you've gone about it and the way you've completely missed the criticisms and the complaints and just, it's, it's painful. So, I think a lot of people have been recommending other game engines as like alternatives right now and definitely banning backers is massive no-no. Self-righteousness, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're a community manager. Um, I feel like if, yeah, there's a lot of occupations and, and you mentioned politicians and that's probably another example where it's like, there's a lot of occupations that just, it attracts a certain kind of person. Not saying that everyone who is a community manager is that kind of person. But there's more of them as community managers than, uh, than, um, you know, let's just say, uh, janitors. Let's just say that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of other roles that, uh, do not get at all the same level of, uh, narcissism sometimes. So, hopefully, hopefully we all can learn from this scenario and go, yeah, like, it's a bit silly. In the 90s and noughties, we had loud Christian- Oh, exactly. Exactly. Um, I was having a- oh, I was having a chat with, um, uh, with a, a mate, and I was like, we were like citing something that happened- oh, It was something that happened in 2010, and it's like, yeah, like, this was like, the polar opposite of, uh, like, you know, people- people- There's a certain, uh, political arm that's going like, oh, you know, they're the- they're the free speech fellas, they're the, um, you know, not the censorious type, and it's like, uh, 15 years ago, that was entirely on the other shoe. Um, completely forgotten what the scenario is, but I, I think we can all, you know, cite something where it's like, yep, that's a shoe on the other foot moment. Um, <laughs> there you go. That's right, this ledge is actually used for something. Uh, it is very safe to jump down in this direction. Don't worry about it. Oh, the horseshoe is insane. Uh, let's, uh, here's a, uh, here's a wonderful horseshoe, uh, point, by the way. So, uh, topic number two I have is, uh, the Tokyo Game Show is on right now. And, uh, one of the things that has, uh, been emitted from this Tokyo Game Show is, um, uh, oh, I'm scrolling through, I'm scrolling through my tweets. I have a lot of tweets open. Uh, one of these, uh, uh, things that, oh, I've gone well past the thing, is a, uh, 
is an interview with um uh the uh Dragon Quest creator uh Yuji Hori. Um this tweet misspells his name. <laughs> Should have two eyes, right? Oh, I guess that's the uh Romaji of the name. Um but even then. Uh it, it, there's an interview with him, and um the interview basically uh discusses a uh a topic involving how uh, some of the outfits in the Dragon Quest uh, 3 HD remaster that's coming out next month, is it? Or uh, in November. It's not next month now, but it's next month tomorrow, so close enough. Um, and uh, some of the outfits have been a, a little bit censored. Not like, it's not a ridiculous amount, but it's like, um, like the fighter character, um, or the fighter class. Um, outfit uh, for the female. There's like a skin colored kind of t shirt under it. This is why it's the, the controversy stream. We got two controversial topics. Um, and uh, like, I think it's definitely like, I don't like there having to be a change to basically cover up something. It's like, you know, this was a. Uh, this was an. Uh, you know, there was originally a design and you had to change it because, uh, you know. Someone somewhere didn't want to see, uh, I'm gonna say cleavage, but it's not really, like, a cleavage kind of design. I think it's just in the, the amount of skin. It's not the end of what- yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's- it's not a- uh, it's not a two extremes. Certainly, I think it's fine to ask the question, why was it changed? Like, I think people shouldn't just shout down, like, oh, it's trivial, therefore it should be fine, or, like, something like that. But it's also like, yeah, like... Is it something that I would not buy the game over? For me personally, no. It's very hard. I think a lot of people are very jaded in um, this world of like corporatism because uh, it's hard to um, make your opinion known. Like if it's like, oh, you know, I do like Dragon Quest and I want to sell, or I want them to sell more copies of Dragon Quest, so I should buy, um, you know, the new Dragon Quest thing. But on the flip side, oh, hi, I would like to get that going. Um, but on the flip side, it's like, well, I don't like that. And if they, if they view the sales figures and think that their move is good, well, that's not good. Like, that's a move I disagree with, but also Dragon Quest is cool. Um, in this interview, though, uh, he's, uh, he's doing an interview, uh, with, um, a, uh, a, um, uh, an ex-editor-in-chief of, uh, Shonen Jump, which I believe is a magazine. Companies make fans so yeah, well... Yeah, like, uh, fan service is always a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Companies love playing it both ways, don't they? Uh, I want to say I, you get a blue coin if you kick this Lakitu in the face somehow. I'll try and get him. We're going for 100 coins right now, because I need to get the red coins in the, in the place. There's a lot of interesting places. Thanks for the follow, Henry. Produk. We'll never know that it says Productions. Come on. Well, that's not a blue coin, that's just four coins, but you know what, I'll take four coins. Or I might take three, because they're up. Yeah, because they've, they've gone places, they've gone angles. Uh, uh, yeah, we got him, we got him, we're good, we're good. Um, in this interview, he basically said, uh... Uh, uh, it's a mixture of the Shonen Jump guy, sorry, I, I've got subtitles and I actually couldn't tell, like, who's saying what exactly. Uh... Oh. Oh, he's, he's a goner. He's a goner at that point. Uh, you don't really need the shell for too much. I'm not sure if it helps you get up onto this ledge. Nah, not really. Uh, that's right, by the way, having the cannon means I don't have to- oh, I don't have to worry about doing this platforming right here. Because I hate doing this platforming up here. It's the one thing I love about- What does El Mayo mean? Oh. It's a, it means you're launching missiles at orphanages. Well, that, it only means that on Saturdays. Unless that's a very topical thing recently. That's a, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but, uh, some people would think, eh, oh, maybe. Maybe. Um, okay, come on, come on, Gooms. Come on, Gooms. Uh, anyway, in this- oh. You see that? He just jumped into it. Now I'm a couple of coins down. I believe it's the owl in here? No. 
thought the owl came back for one more level. There we go. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so in this interview, uh, the owl comes back for TTM. TTM. We're gonna try and get this, uh, this pole. It's actually, like, one of the hardest, like, things to get because the pole doesn't even render. But, uh, trust me, I think you can actually hit it like this. Like, you aim just sort of for the top. A little above. You got it right. Oh, nope. Very off. Tall, tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's in tall, tall. Guild Wars 2 gave the community, uh, finally access to a swimsuit bikini skin after 12 years. Gold to gem ratio. Oh, very nice. I don't, I don't mind, like, fan service. Like, you know, if it's something people want to get, sure. Obviously, when the pool's diluted, when there is too much fan service, the pool's diluted. Uh, but sometimes the pool dries up. There is not enough of a thing. Uh, so... Dragon Quest has, uh, not shied away from fan service. It's definitely, um... Oh, it's not inflation, it's, uh... What's the term? Market capitalized? I don't know what I'm going for. <laughs> Deflation? It's like... You make so much product that you- sh it's- it's- it's just like an economy boom. You've just stimulated with, a uh, more product. Oh, my gosh. There's no fan service in the game. Yeah, yeah, in the classic one there's a bit more, um, and it's- it's, it's really only fan service in terms of, like, the design of the outfit. I don't think that the game itself really, um, like, uh, I mean, maybe it will in the- in the 3D sense, but, like, I'm gonna play through Dragon Quest 3 um, not sure if I'll get around to it next year, because I do have a much longer game I really want to get to. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stop it. We're not, we're not going for it. <laughs> There's other ways I can get some coins, don't worry. This one's a tricky one for the, for the 100 coins, I'll tell you that. Brothership Hype. Exactly, that one's coming out soon. Um... But, uh, anyway, so the, the creator guy says, uh, that, um, this is a paraphrase, but he basically says that the, uh, or, or the Shonen Jump guy, uh, basically says that, uh, they have to do this to get the game out in all countries. They have to basically concede to the most censorious countries, uh, you know, in order to get their game out for all ages. Um, and there's a second comment about how... Uh, they can't even call the characters male and female anymore. They have to call them Type A and Type B. And there's a specific line about, um, about, uh, you know, like, uh, what is it? It's, what is it? It's, it's catering to an evil, to, to, a, to a god, like, the evil, like, good, or something like that. It was some, like, interesting line in there. Basically, like, who, who are we even catering this for? There was something like that in there. It was very explicit, very, like, harsh. Are the enemies were replaced by robots. Oh, yeah. Wolfenstein 3D on the, on the SNES is like, they're all, they're all mutants. Green blood. Yeah, I do not like this walkway here or dealing with that, so I'm just going to casually do this. We'll go on the pipe. Um, what's more concerning is the silly TikTok censorship sneaking its way. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff, like, um, there's a lot of, uh, kind of, like, oh, YouTube demonetization, like, terminology. I keep hearing people just unironically say the term, like, unalive in, a uh, in, in conversation instead of, you know, like, kill. Can we not say the word kill anymore? There's a lot, there's a lot of weird ones. Alright, this is like the most precarious spot here because this Goomba will will ruin your day. There you go. Red stuff and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can say the word blood. I've not I I don't know if the word blood has been censored out, but like yeah, unaliving. Um in Minecraft was a classic, although in, in Minecraft was a bit of a bit of a meme. I love how you can kill Cooper quick, by the way. I'm not sure if you can kill the Goombas in the small, in, in the in the tiny island, and then suddenly they're there in the huge island. Still, we've got plenty of plenty of uh, coins now. Don't worry. I'll try and get them on the outside though, because it's gonna be a little annoying if uh, you botch up the star on the inside. Ground pounding the Goombas has 
super duper nice though for getting this. There we go. Nice. Uh, you can choose type A or type B, there is no male or female. Why can't I rem <laughs> Because type B is female. Exactly, exactly. That one, like, okay, my- there is, there is a part of it which is like my personal opinion, and I'm like, I don't know why you can't say like male or female. I guess there's the, um, the idea that not all males look like that these days, and not all females look like that these days. I think that's the, um, the idea I see some people say, but I'm like, this is a Japanese game, and I think we all know exactly, like, where they're coming from. They're not making a huge statement. That's just, <laughs> that's just what they, what, what, what it is, right? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to be a whole lot of people. There's no easy, there's no like uh, easy way to, of, of, of framing this kind of stuff. Like it, it's something where it's like, like it's very easy to try and like have to like eggshell walk on this because there's a hypothetical person or a hypothetical like opinion. Actually, it's not even hypothetical. Like I, I flat out encountered like that kind of uh, opinion in the wild. 95% of women- yeah, well, ugh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say 95, I think it's actually like 98 or so. And also different countries, it's like, it's even higher than that, like, not- not saying, like, it's exclusionary, but as in, like, these characters aren't. It's fine, it's- it's the characters of this. It's- that's- that's what- it, that's what- it, I don't know, yeah. Um, so I'm just like, I don't know why they gotta, like, type A and type B this. Um, point is, is that the opinion is, uh, directed, and it's, it's rather poignant, but it's directed, um, squarely at, uh, like, um, ratings boards. Uh, sort of having to get the game out with a certain, uh, you gotta do a real kind of tricky jump here. I'm gonna do a wall jump. Oh, you see what I mean? It's a tricky one, so that's why we got the hundred coins first. Unfortunately, I don't believe that counts as a, um... Actually, I'll go on the huge island for this one as well. That it doesn't count as a sub area. Yeah, the wall jump's a tricky one there. It's it's fortunately very short, and yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't spawn you into the uh, into the room. But that's okay. We can just do the the cannon. Have another shot at it. Um, yeah, giving an engine, taking a foot for some people. Yeah, like it's. <sighs> Like, I'm not- I'm not saying it's like, oh, like, get bent if you have that kind of, like, um, you know, identity, but I think it's more that, like, we shouldn't concede, like, Dragon Quest art style <laughs> over it. I feel like Dragon Quest is Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is its own thing. If you want to make your own thing and you want to, like, put that in the game, that's fine with you. Like, as much as, like, people- I- I- oh, I do see, like, people dunk on, um, games that- are directly for that kind of crowd. I think Dustborn was a recent game like that. Um, and like, I mean, Dustborn has some like very like odd things I've seen in the clips, but it's like, that's a game. Like I appreciate the people who made that game for making a game, even if it's something I don't, Concord, yeah, Concord's got a little bit of that. Um, I don't think the game was out long enough for people to know if it was truly that. Um, the statistics of the Final Fantasy mobile game. No, what's, what's the statistics on it? Also, which mobile game? Oh my gosh, I'm out of the blue. I remember they had a Battle Royale Final Fantasy <laughs> mobile game. Specifically for Final Fantasy VII. Just, like, I, I'm always, like, surprised with Final Fantasy VII being its own, like, just sub-franchise. Everything is Final Fantasy VII. Just like how, uh, well, I guess Persona is its own sub-franchise, you know what I mean? Oh, I hate this walkway. Good thing I have an analog stick. Oh, you can see, you can see the, um... The, the tentativity in my, uh, in my directions. Um, we'll go the other way. I think the other way is probably kinder to me. Because, yeah, it's a bit... I don't trust that from one jump. They release a sexy Tifa outfit. I, I mean, that that's my opinion again. Like, whoa. Um, I think people are actually really starved of, like, fan service stuff. There's a, there's a weird... And I think it does come from the ratings boards, or potentially some, uh, localization teams. You can, uh... You can grab the ceiling here. Maybe a backflip will do it. I'm gonna get off the wall, and then we're gonna... Nope. Nope. We're gonna do a wall jump, then. Very tight wall jump. 
Oh, puritan- yeah, yeah, puritism is never- Can you not- can you not grab the top? Oh, oh, we're good, we're good. Alright, we're gonna have to do a double jump then. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then they put that- that flame boy there, which is probably gonna screw me over right now. Whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're done with this world. We're done. We're done. <laughs> no more. No more Tiny Huge Island. I dread Tiny Huge Island. It's, it's actually, it terrifies me. You get there in the end, but I actually think it is one of the harshest levels because of just that. And the platforming is tricky. So, here we have Tall Tall Mountain. The actual World 12. Which I should have done, but that's okay. Scale the Mountain. Tall Tall Mountain is, uh... Oh, I was gonna say it's the last of the climbing up kinds of levels, but something somewhat surreal I found on Twitter some time ago. There are some real cheeky places you can shortcut this level, by the way. Like, good fun. But let's uh, let's go about it the normal way. I think this is a one-up. There's a lot of one-ups on this level as well, so if you're actually shy of one-ups, just come here. Apparently there's a term going around. Puritine. Puritine. Ooh. I've not seen that word. <laughs> Um, but I guess a lot of, yeah, yeah, I guess what it means, yeah, exactly. Uh, I like how this is above the start of the level, so if you fall down in most of these places, you're actually mostly fine, except for that part with the mushrooms. Um, it's got the log from, a uh, um, Lethal Lava Land, the same log. It's got these, uh, rolling balls. And then it's got like this bit where it's like, it looks like it splits in half the, the path. You got this lower bit there, which actually connects onto these uh, vines, which you could have climbed up from uh, before. You got these Goombas, you got a spot where you just literally long jump. You got this cloud. He's chilling. Uh, you got this weird little bit, which uh, prevents you from jumping. Got this part with, uh, some coins that you can get. There's a lot of cool things in, in, uh, Tall Tall Man. I actually like this level a lot. And then, uh, you got this little walkway, which, uh, always terrifies me. But, uh, yeah, once you get that, you're good. You're at the top. There's a star. Apparently there are so many teens that shame other users for making or consuming not safe for work content, even if most are clearly marked as such. Oh, yeah. I, there was a post on Hacker News today about um, someone who said that as they were a, a young kid, I guess, um, their life was going through some, like, generally some trickier times. They, you know, weren't, like, too great on money and sort of the internet was a bit of escapism at the time. I'm not too sure what the time period was, um, but basically he was very thankful for the people who he did interact with on the internet for giving him that kind of, like, ray of light and i actually really like the um uh one of the comments said like you know when someone asks where you're from one of the like best responses is i'm from the internet it's like you could be from the most like kind of you know backwards not backwards but like you know the poorest kind of background um the like you know or, or an incredibly rich background or um you know your your family is like crazy famous or uh you know you <laughs> criminals or whatever like you could you could be from any kind of like real like you know extreme scenario and it doesn't matter at the end of the day because everyone on the internet is an internet voice we are a citizen of the internet and we all communicate with each other and share ideas and things like that it's like i'm from the internet i share things on the internet just like other people on the internet like being a pasta man true true do you bleed like pasta sauce? Is that, is that the. <laughs> Did the Italians invent garlic bread? I don't know if that's them. Everything Italian's food, despite the fact that, like, <laughs> it's like most musical instruments are Italian for a reason. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> there's so much more to Italian stuff. I hate that, um. Yeah, Mystery of the Monkey Cage, it's almost mostly the same star, by the way. So when you get up to this point, uh, there's a star here. And, uh, you've got to literally walk past again, and as you go to the top of the mountain, 
Instead of a star, there is a monkey. Try to catch the monkey. The monkey is going to be mean. Oh, he's not that bad. Wow, let me go, Kiki. I was only teasing. Can't you take a joke? I'll tell you what. Let's trade. Let me go. I'll give you something real good. And then you gotta actually free him. And then uh, you follow him. Garlic is common instrument. Mayonnaise. I mean, French fries aren't even French. We got the monkey noises. <laughs> This monkey knows what's up. <laughs> then he uh, does an incredible jump. And uh, that falls down. And then, uh, well, it's down there somewhere. Belgium, yeah, Belgium is France. Belgium is Germany. Take a dive. You're down just here next to where the other monkey was. Spain would be the most appropriate. There's a lot of European countries and a lot of them are like each other. Like every time I go on, um, Geogasser and it's like, yeah, like Luxembourg. It's like, oh my gosh. Immediately went from Spanish territory to independence. Scary shrooms, red, was it red coins? That's not really that fancy a name. Uh, we're not doing 100 coins on this one. There's a better place to get your um, 100 coins, or a better place to prepare yourself for the red coins. Um, these are scary shrooms. Look at that. It's scary. It's actually not, it's not too bad at the end. Oh, whoa. it's not too bad at the end of the day. You could see that <laughs> pink Goomba. Uh, the other uh, four red coins are up uh, up here. So I'd recommend just getting the ones on those mushrooms first because uh, it's a little easier to slip off uh, one of those ones. Belgian friend and she speaks French. Beldum is uh, half French. Beldum is half steel and half psychic. Thank you very much. <laughs> Flemish is more Dutch. I should play more European of a Salus and understand my countries. I unfortunately cannot point on a map where, like, where Austria is. Oh, maybe. I know it's next to Hungary, I know it's next to Germany. There's a lot of European ones where I'm just like, uh, It's like, a, you know, in the same way as, like, I do know my US states, though, so I, I know that. I've got that over there. Australian states are easy because, like, one state's called the Northern... Well, it's not a state, technically, but... Um, one's called the Northern Territory, one's called Western Australia, one's called South Australia. <laughs> it's three out of eight already. You can probably take a swing, uh... You know... Well, probably not take a swing, but it's like... You'll know Tasmania is just the island. You'll know New South Wales is the one with Sydney. And then Victoria is the one with Melbourne, and Queensland's the only other one left, except you forgot about the uh, Australian Capital Territory, which is just uh, landlocked inside of New South Wales. Yeah, it's, oh, it's mo most of the country, most of the states are more territory than people. Like, even like Western Australia is like 30 or 40% of the country's like landmass, but it's got like actually like 8% of the population. NT in particular, yes. Okay, Mysterious Mountainside is where we start doing the, the fancy, uh, you know, getting the coins. Alright, so there's a there's a few... Like, we got Goombas, we got other things. This one's not too bad. There's a lot of coins on offer. Alice Springs people... Oh, yeah, Alice Springs is actually, like, kind of like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the emus won the emu war. I'll never forgive them. Uh, this box, I hate. Oh, that was smooth. Yeah, if you hold back while you grab that box, you've actually got a nice, like, rain to get those coins easily. Look at the reason why. Um, oh, yeah, only reason it's still Australia on our maps is because no country recognizes. To be fair, though, we did have a, um, an independent territory in uh, Western Australia. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it had its own currency until literally, like, COVID. Uh, because, uh, the tourism died <laughs> during COVID. So they couldn't, they couldn't sustain themselves anymore. Um... The Kiwis never had to fight Kiwis. Didn't the, Ki didn't the New Zealanders have, like, cannibals? That was a, that was a weird one. It was like, it was like someone, one of the, like, first explorers, um, to Australia accidentally went a little too far. They hit New Zealand and then they got eaten by cannibals. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Remember on the plan to leave the northern part? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, like, bizarre points in Australian history, I'll tell you that. It's 
cook on the Cook Islands. What's he cook himself getting getting eaten? Oh, poor guy. There's always like it seems so like surreal to these days, but it's like there are still like tribes out there that like you know the rest of uh, the rest of the developed world just watches and they're like yeah nah like don't don't don't, don't interfere with those fellas they are. Save the blood, not poor. <laughs> yeah. Mama you don't make a hero, you become the hero. Sure, yeah. <laughs> the North North Sent Sent oh, Sentinelese? Maybe. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. I just know it happened. Or they made it up in my history books, because there's a lot of things in my history books that like, hmm, that wasn't really true. And like us, find peace in two places, in the grave and in the map. Good old Captain Cook. I don't know if it's Captain Cook. Quote, I live on an island in India and almost entirely uncontacted. Oh, yeah, yeah, that might be the one. That might be the one, yeah. Just monkey noises off in the distance. But yeah, like, the uncontacted, like, kind of areas. There was, a, there was a, a, um, a story, it's not like an uncontacted area, but they were like, it was like a tribe and they don't, not a tribe, like too much a tribe, but it was like a very, like, remote place and they didn't, um, uh, have, like, too much contact with the outside world. And they asked Elon Musk for Starlink and he built it there. And now they have, like, um, crippling depression like out of nowhere it's like oh how did this happen it's like the men just don't want to go outside anymore like that kind of stuff it's like oh i'm not gonna hold on we're gonna be a little careful around these guys we keep rotating they can't get me there we go uh and then he sets oh my gosh okay is that turkish Siri, is that Turkish? I don't have Siri. Alright, let's just drop down to the bottom, because we'll lap back around here. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> Men like us don't run away from death! This is- oh, I was reading the thing. You can see it's Turkish because of the dotless eyes. Oh, is that, is, that a, is that an exclusively Turkish thing, the dotless eyes? Strange. Oh! He be, he be cussing in the chat. He be cussing in the chat. Oh. This is like cheeky but bomb spot, by the way. Most people probably don't even like realize he's here. Where is the can? Oh, the can is down here. Uh, it's part of me that's like, how do I, like, save myself out of this? How do I get out of here? I feel like I could do a triple jump and get the height. Oh, maybe? Maybe? I know I can drop down, but I don't want to drop down. I just want to... There we go. There we go. We're all good. We're all good. Uh, I don't think there's any coins up here, but the fly guy would be nice if I could get him. You gotta watch out for the monkey. The monkey will steal your hat. Oh. Don't steal my hat, monkey. You know, at some point I feel like I just shouldn't with this fly guy. Apparently that quote comes from a TV series. Oh, he's quite... Oh. Oh. Quoting TV. Valley of the Wolves. It's a fun name. There's a lot- I- I'm always, like, uh, intrigued by, like, local television. I know, like, we've got, like, Home and Away. Is Home and Away still on? Neighbors? We've got, like, our Aussie kind of, like, soapbox dramas. But, like, there's other ones, like, international ones that I don't really know of, but it's like, you'll just see, like, 
the television show and people speaking like a, you know, well, any other language, and you're like, oh my gosh, oh yeah. Alright, so we're back up here. And uh, we should be converging onto the Goombas. This one does take its time to get the 100 coins, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely does. And then obviously it's like, hey, we're at 56, like... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um... Uh, <laughs> but... Yeah, uh... I feel like I had some topics before, but yeah, but... I didn't really have, like, a ton to say about them other than, like, the happening, and I hope people, uh... Feel like the chats can. Oh, and that is a gone coin. That is a gone coin. There's a lot of, um, I guess pressure. I guess, um, no, not, not sorry, not there is. I, I think in in the past there used to be a lot of pressure to like say, hey, I kind of like, you know, things as they used to be in some way. Um, I feel like the probably the prime example for me is, uh, um. You know, like, games with season passes or things like that. It's like, hey, there was a time when games with season passes was like, alright. And now it's like, I don't know, uh, so much negativity around season passes. Uh, there is a magical painting in here. There's a painting inside the level. And if you really want to grind lives, by the way, uh, there is... Oh, what is it? If, if you, like, stand in the... In all four corners, I think a life... Yeah, a life shows up. And then there's like a life fairly early on in the, in the slide. I gotta be careful because you're gonna have the 100 coin appear somewhere in the middle of the slide. And also it's decently easy to lose your... Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's decently easy to fall off. And you've also gotta, like, be good enough to pick up the, uh... Oh, oh. You gotta be good enough to pick up the, uh, <laughs> the star as you're doing this. Oh, I... I Oh, we're good. No, 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 we're bad. We're bad. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> It's the worst. I believe that is a sub-level as well, so as I go back in, it's going to just try the slide again. I know. Maybe we should do the slide first. I mean, they get- <laughs> you get more lives, but ah, oh, we went around the whole mountain to get the coins, and then it's like, yeah, nah. You can see it's a bit painful though, because you basically gotta like go up a lip. And then you sort of it's very easy to bounce off and around. I probably would have gotten the, the star here. And I think that would have been an alright spot, but This is a bit of an interesting slide as well. Oh, oh nearly botched up the drop as well. Do the hard part first? Yeah, do the hard part first. Come on, Mario, you can walk. <laughs> Mario, you good? <laughs> he does not want to walk up this slope, apparently. So drop down the hole, and uh, you appear back at the spot with a, a star. I don't... My brain was thinking there was a warp here, but I think we're actually, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can... Yeah, you can jump off here. Easy. Okay, time to actually get a hundred coins, like, this way, then. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, oh, what's this in the world? Because there's another, like, part, sort of, I mean, there's that star there. But, uh, yeah, no, I've completely forgotten the topology of this level. Can you tell I know Mario Galaxy more? When we do Mario Sunshine though, I'll tell you, I do not, like, know those blue points off the top of my head. Sunshine is a very intriguing game. And I'm doing these red points now. You know, instead of any other safer coins. 
Just go straight for those ones. Why not? I love the vines. I've been waiting so long. Can you sing along to a song, even if there's like no backing? Like if you just like, just go for it? Or do you get like copyright struck on your, your video if you're like two lines in? I dare not test that theory. Shout out to Sony Music for uh, the reason why I still haven't played Earthbound. Thanks Sony Music. Can't be detected by Shazam. Or it can be detected if I sing it well enough. That's the problem. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I, th I think we're just safe to just get the coins in this direction. Sometimes it's a bit sensitive. They can strike you. Sometimes I am tempted to just actually fight the system and just go, hey guys, because that's why there was with the uh, Sony. It's like I went to the freaking like, here's my address, sue me boys, and that's that's how I got my streams back. But it's like, man, you know, like that's not even. Well, I mean, it is a false copyright claim in the sense of they don't actually own the video game soundtrack. They own the uh, release CD, which is not. Like, it's a, a, that's a performance of the soundtrack, that is not the, uh, thing that's, that's not the game itself, so. Alright, uh, that's the hundred, and we're on, oh, hi there. So, uh, we could do a variety of stars right now, I guess. Copyright, well, it's not even just, like, copyright, it's like, I'm very certain that jumps a bit too far, but you could totally jump from, like, the higher ledge and entirely land on that. Um, there also exists, you can definitely see it down there. Um, it's like this really like narrow spot down here. Yeah, you can see, yeah, you can see this like cheeky little bit down there. And you're meant to go down that way. But I hate that route so much that I'm going to actively walk all the way around the level. Just to show you how silly it is to go there when you could just go... You know, I don't know, an easier way. There's an easier way. Oh. That's the easier way. Congrats, we did it. That's a, that's a bit tragic, ain't it? Wando spends all of his time on the back five worlds. Comedic timing. It's only comedic if uh, I'm laughing. Alright, there is one thing you can do here, and that's uh, jump over to this mushroom and then this little one that's lowered is a warp I know this one off the top of my head and this actually puts you right where you need to be so we might as well just do it the actual way then instead of the uh, shortcut way but uh oh boy oh boy and then I've set my up uh, myself up for failure I've set myself up for failure this is uh this is one of the gutsiest stars I think they've ever put in any of these games. It's like, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, hope for the best! I hate this star, I hate this one. It's like, oh, why is it like this? Uh, I got the 100 coins already, it's okay, it's okay. Also, I like how uh, because I entered this, this slide, it just puts me at the slide. It's like, oh. Uh, I think I did. I think I did. I love the um the pictures of the stars and the moons around the outside here. I actually, this is real fun as well because like knowing 3D game design is like these are just like random walls in the middle of like the space. But if you color everything black, you create this like magical like you know like a roller coaster it's like if you make everything so dark you can basically superimpose stuff it's all smoke and mirrors there we go star 100 Here we go. it was easy it was obvious <laughs> should aim a little lower i should aim at the star next time <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
Alright. Breathtaking view from a bridge. This one you've probably seen a couple of times as I've gone through the level. Have you noticed that this is the bob -omb Battlefield music again? I think it appears in either four or five levels. So, so is Tiny Huge Island, by the way. It's just, it's, I, like, a part of me is like, oh, I, I, I do like newer games and having different, at oh, ooh, and having different assets in, uh, every kind of level. But there's something kind of endearing about, uh, the bob -omb Battlefield music being in four of the worlds. Uh, died, you know, Jolly Roger Bay is in uh, two, uh, the Snowman's Land is in two, uh, the, the underground theme that was in Hazy Maze Cave also was in, uh, well, Dry World, if you remember that. We haven't had a brand new, like, world theme, um, uh, in this, in this stream yet. And unfortunately, we've heard the one that's in the next two worlds as well. We're almost there at the top again. We don't even need to get up to the top, we just need to get to the, uh... Well, yeah, you can see it right there. There's a fun jump you can do. As we, uh, just do one last circle around the mountain. Despite my, uh, criticisms, I guess, of like, oh, you know, things are annoying or whatever, Mario 64 is still good fun. Um, it's certainly a, uh, like, it's a bit raw at times, but it's kind of endearing like that. There's probably a better way to get that, but I don't know, I always like doing that jump there. That was breathtaking. You're breathtaking. Was that in 2020 or 2019 he did that? I think it was in 2019, because that was... Yeah. I still communicate with a bunch of people I know from, like, university. And, uh... It's like... The, they know younger people at university, and they know younger people at university, and we're getting to the point now where it's like, I made a comment about, um, uh, Neopets, and I was like, oh, shout out to, like, all the Neopets users in, like, 2003, when, like, I was young. And then it's like, yeah, like, there's people starting uni next year who were born in, like, 2008. They were born after Grand Theft Auto 4 came out. All those years they couldn't make games for the PS5. <laughs> What's a PS5? The PS6 is almost about to come out. I, I, I mean, real talk, I don't think a PS6 is gonna, you know, even manifest until 2027, 2028. Hardware has still been advancing. We've actually had, um, uh, recently released the, uh, the Lunar Lake laptops. And, uh, the AMD Strix Point, uh, laptops. Lots of, like, really nice mobile, um, parts. Uh, it's that mushroom. Oh, I'm glad I'm, I'm just copping it. It's that mushroom. I need to get onto that mushroom. Actually, is it that mushroom? It's, it's that mushroom. Let's just go for it, shall we? I can't see where I'm jumping. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Easy. Any big news uh, about the PS6? There was the, um, the Sony did a state of play. I didn't... S I didn't watch it, so I don't have anything to opine on. Uh, that was that world, by the way. We are done with Tall Tall Mountain. So now we have only two worlds to go, and they're on the, uh, the top floor. And there's a couple of, uh, Castle Secret Stars to go. So, you can see, uh, we're at 11. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. There's one in the final Bowser level. There's... One Toad. Actually, did I talk to that Toad? There's a, there's like a castle world up here. I'm trying to recall where the other ones are, because they haven't said it. It showed ex exactly one and a half new exclusive. It's one of those exclusives LEGO Horizon Zero Dawn. The, Nintendo is being very shy about the, the Switch 2, and I think that's, that's fair. Uh, hi there, Toad. Hi there, Toad. 
Hi there, Toad. Hi there, Toad. Something strange about that clock. Also, a catch. There we go. Yeah, like, I, I mean, everything so far is... Oh, it's on the Switch and PS... It's not on the PS5. Yeah. Uh... There's one more secret star. I've completely blanked out on where that secret star is. This is a secret star area, so we might as well tackle this one now. Oh, PS5 Switch and PC. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, this has the music that you'll be hearing for quite a while, but there's a uh, eight red coins in here and a wonderful wing cap uh, that you've just got to kind of, well, wing it. You got to fly down to. Uh, there's a ledge with a bomb on it, a pink bomb. And then you can activate some cannons to make your way back. The one exclusive was Ghosts of Yote. The half exclusive was the VR mode for Hitman World of Assassination. I'm amazed, I, I'm a little bit upset because I'm a proud owner of Hitman 1 and 2 on Steam and suddenly now I have to rebuy the DLC because I don't own Hitman 3. I hate that. It's just, ugh. Ugh. It's atrocious. Uh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't, I don't know why I just instinctively tried to do a triple jump and it's like, oh yeah, no triple jumps, don't do that. Uh, so the trick you want to do is uh, aim high because then Mario will catch into his flight. The count of exclusive rests at 12 for the moment. Is that 12 released? Are there more announced that they're like, oh, you know, not counting VR games. Yeah, that's some real, like, cheeky ledges, I tell ya. There's this one, which is, uh... Whoa. It's on top of everything. And that's just for a one-up, but... Yeah, that's nice. There's some vines directly underneath me as well. I, I like how this is actually... Um, if you think about it as well, one of Mario 64's real great strengths is how Mario it is. Like, it's, it's different in the sense that Mario can punch. Uh, that's a fake cloud. I was about to ground pound in that, so I'm glad I caught that a a ahead of time. Um, but you know what I mean? It's like, this is very much like the, um, the bonus areas, the sky bonus areas in, um, the original Mario Brothers. Six to eight announced, but not out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need to use a cannon to get up there again, but that's okay. Oh, and yeah. It's great. Metro Prime's another one of my favorites as well, but, um, and Gex. Gex is a brilliant 3D platformer. Can't take it away from me. And Rayman 2. That's probably a good, like, a good selection of games that did convert to 3D very well. Obviously there's probably going to be like a bunch of like racing games where it's like, well, naturally they, they work very well in 3D. A lot, yeah, but yeah, don't ground pound, I nearly ground pounded it. And now I've been re-reminded of, don't ground pound that one either, apparently. Uh, where is the next cannon? That, where does that hat go? That's just gone. Yeah, I feel like I'm tweaking because I'm like looking around going, where is that cannon platform again? I'm spending my sweet time in here. I'm probably giving people some anxiety. <laughs> it's like, oh, I Uh, the hat does- the hat has a time limit, yes, but I keep picking up more hats. There's tons of hats in this level, so... Uh, okay, so we're going for, uh, well, it's- I think it's over on the far end. Oh, it's much lower than I thought. Okay, and don't hit the invisible wall around the level. It's all hats and clouds, yeah. Oh. 
I missed it. That's okay. We can turn around. Circle back. Got it. It's all good. The worst part of, about this one, if you fall from here, you fall out into the castle-like courtyard. <laughs> so it's like a bit of a trek to get back. It's a bit brutal. Also, Mario hits his head as he's trying to, like, leave this area. Uh, but I'm still blanking on where, uh, the last castle star is. So just run through my head, like, where, where are the ones I'm missing? Anyway, let's enter TikTok clock. On the 6, by the way. I've completely forgotten what's the, uh, what's the timing. I think 6 is the quick ordering, isn't it? Oh no, quick's the... Quick's the chaotic one. Alright, TikTok Clock is uh, a lot of people's favorite levels, and rightly so, because it's, uh, it looks very different to lots of other levels. Red coins for Bowser 3. There is red coins for Bowser 3, but I'm, like, I'm at 13, so where's uh, the other Castle Secret star that I've yet to pick up? Uh, TikTok Clock, otherwise, is a, just an ascending level. Just try to walk your way up. You'll find most of the, oops. You'll find most of the, the coins on your way up. Uh, you can do the red coins here. These red coins are some of the, like, trickiest ones as well, because, uh, you gotta deal with these platforms. And depending on how you've, uh, got the, uh, speed, it, uh, sometimes it's very tricky. The big thing. Let's see, I'm trying to run the ones off the top of my head. So, we've got, uh, all three, um... Oh, yes, the random bit flip. I think that is, like, real, though. I think that really is a bit flip. Where it's, like, during a speed run, like, someone just randomly jumped through the floor, and, like, there's a... I think there's a Pan and Coke challenge. I don't think it was, like, a full video. But he basically, like... was like, can you recreate this? Um, so we got three castle, sorry, three, like, switch palace kinds of stars. Um, I might as well do the red coins on a, on a different setting. Um, so each one of those had one, uh, star, the, uh... That was a full-on bounty. Jeez. This is a fairly straightforward star, it's just halfway up the level. I'm actually gonna look up <laughs> the secret stars. Castle secret stars. So Castle secret stars list. What have we got? Peach slide, peach slide. Uh, the swimming one. Bowser in the dark world. Wing cap. Uh, Nessie exit, which led to the switch palace. Uh, underground one, which also was the Switch Palace, the one toad outside, uh, Hazy Maze Cave. Did I get the one from down here? I'm trying to think. Oh! Mips again. <laughs> I didn't get Mips too. Alright, we'll, we'll get Mips too, because otherwise I'm gonna absolutely forget about that one. Darn Mips 2. Yeah. Uh, for reference, if you're playing the uh, DS version, you might be uh, very confused why your stars are different a lot, and uh, also why the rabbit gives you a key. And also why the room with the castle secret star is, uh, sorry, with the secret slide is uh, a lot larger, and has a room that leads to uh, a Delfino Plaza level. Or Delfino Isle level. Yeah, Mips is just back here, after 50 stars, and, uh, Mips will, uh, give you another star. And, uh, I'm, I'm sad I didn't, like, re-get Mips. Someone, <laughs> someone should have stopped me last stream. Oh. What a very precarious angle to get him. I'll get him in the dead end. There we go. Easy. Not you again. Please explain why they- well, okay, you see, the- the Delfino Plaza wasn't actually invented yet. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's- that's why. That's why. I love, like, the retroactive, like, remaster includes elements from the newer game. <laughs> Lies. It's- it's not even- it does have Delfinos. 
not not that level. That level doesn't have Delfinos, but Delfinos do appear in other uh, parts of the game. Love that jump. So good. So iconic. Alright, other than that, that's 14 castle secret stars. You gotta do this the fun way, even if I could just walk through the door. Oh, we're going at a very weird angle here. Come on, come on, we gotta do this every time, right? It's in our hearts. You think Mario wants to be remind? Oh, <laughs> you think Mario wants to be reminded of that place? It's going on the tree. The pit and the pendulum. So I think on the three, it's on a proper like slow mode, and that probably gives you the the best capability to getting these uh jumping off the level. Apparently, uh, <laughs> gives you the best uh, opportunity to get the the red coins there, because if you have them stopped, uh, I believe all the platforms are like. Just in a position that you can't even, like, you know, jump on them with. The coins are still there, if you still want to have a go at the coins, but... Not when they're not moving. Uh, 12... Yeah, at 12 o'clock, everything stops moving, but it also means that there's an actual, like, ledge uh, later in the level, like a spinning kind of hand, and it's just, like... It's not on the right uh, angle at all for you to... to uncover. I feel like uh, that ledge is not going my way, so maybe we'll, uh, we'll avoid that one. We'll just... Hi, yes. <laughs> Have you noticed it's been a while since I've played this game? I was like, let's avoid that one, then I proceed to immediately go for it again. Hello, Tom33. It's like, what happened to Tom32? I Tom as well. Very nice. I was like, did, did Apple? Really? I will say, um, on the uh, yeah, on the um, on the new iOS, I have I, again. Um, I don't use iOS, but uh, there's a new feature. Thomas, one of my friends from RA. Very nice. Um, no, oh, okay, sure, but also no. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, if, if anyone's got like an iPhone, have, has anyone used that uh, the Apple intelligence feature? And a has it actually made your life slightly better? Because I've seen, I've got one mate who is telling me it's actually like great in the sense of, uh, it's like, well, it's, you know, language models and uh, it reads things and it summarizes them for you. And that's sort of exactly the point of it. And I'm like, that's, that's fair. You're getting red coins. We're going for the red coins. Yes. Never mind, we're not getting that one. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna be a little fancy. We're gonna go for this high one. Oops, I think that's the angle you get. Crusader Kings Three have taught me the value of uh, the value of feature RL since forever. Oh, bad timing. Oh, <laughs> oh. I was about to make a spicier joke. I'm not having fun with these platforms, I tell ya. Maybe 9 o'clock's what, what I'm meant to have it at. So I think 9 o'clock, it's like, oh. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't think 9 o'clock is it at all. Did you do the, uh, the, the coin collecting as well? <laughs> the coin collecting, uh, subset is absolutely insane. I, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, that totally makes sense why that was, uh, moved out of the main set. Cheap viewers, whoa! The feature's called Murdering Inconvenient People. I wish I could murder inconvenient people. Ooh. It's, it's, like, it's not... Absurd. Well, it is kind of absurd. All right, we'll just go up to the top on the fast mode. Why not? It's probably probably the one reason why you'd actually have the level on the fast mode, 
So once you jump over this one star, we basically continue on to the next half of the level. And the next half of the level has uh, two routes to go to. Uh, you can actually back up to the right. Which, uh, I keep forgetting which one is star two and star three. Whoops, whoops. We saved it and we somehow grabbed a ledge. The camera takes its sweet time following you. Okay, we'll just, we'll just go on this ledge. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm not that good at this game. I'm, not, I'm really not that good at this game. You gotta make sure you don't click the links. Whenever, whenever you get those bots that tell you about cheap viewers, you are not cheap viewers. Also, what a, what an absolute, like, kerfuffle of a URL that is. You gotta have a fresh URL, like, uh, I, I, I still have my blog at bandow.com, but I, I, like, I was dedicating it to basically, like, oh my goodness, wow, wow. I'm really out of it today. So many features of things are not really useful. I I had it there. I was I I'm not that good. I'm really not that good at Mario 64 to get to the end. I'm good enough that I can do it, but I'm not good enough that I can do it really well. Oh no, this is, this is getting worse. TikTok clock is like a perfect like getting worse. Sup, Brad's? How's it going? I well, it's go it's going uh, not that swimmingly for me. I'm dying a lot at TikTok clock. Tick tock on the clock, but the party don't stop tonight. I like how Kesha, like, made very just of its time 2010s music, and then she made a fairly, like, good country album. And then, uh, made this, like, kind of, um... It kind of, it's not hyper-pop, it's like glitch-pop kind of album in 2022. We got, we got a nice jamboree in the chat. Very nice. I hope everyone has a great time watching me struggle at TikTok clock. Alright, we're on the time. We're on time. It's the first time. It's always the first time for everyone, but welcome to the game. Play the version of Super Mario 64 that has... Hold on. First try. Um, as stuff from TikTok as a soundtrack. <laughs> oh no, I... A part of me is kind of glad that I'm not on TikTok, I'm not on Instagram Reels. Uh, someone has notified me that um, uh, someone has my name on TikTok. Sorry, on Instagram. I don't think someone's gone on TikTok, but like, uh, because Bian and Dale are like, it's basically a Thai name. There's a lot of Thai people are like, very, very, like, wanting that name. It's been, it's been a fair while. It's been a fair while, but it's good to see you back. And there's no, there's no like, Hard up, okay, she's like, oh, I'm not angry, I'm angry that he's not here. It's fine, don't worry. <laughs> First knew you YouTube when I was learning to play a bug's life. I, shout out, I don't, uh, that one guy on GameFAQs. That might, have, I don't know if that was you actually, that could have been you. Some guy on, on GameFAQs like name dropped me as like, spotting out. It's not a being down fet stream. I mean, Blob's been here for a while, Blob's been here. Okay, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, dude, it wasn't you, <laughs> I'm always, I'm always, like, surprised, I've been, like, I'm, like, old, I'm really old at this point, but it's, like, uh, it's always kind of fun just, like, seeing, you know, the same kind of names show up again, or, like, people who recognize me again, it's, like, ah, oh, you know, like, it's, 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 it's great, I'm very humbled by it, I'm just, like, oh, I'm glad I made, like, someone's, like, <laughs> Someone's day that little bit better, you know? Alright, turns out this was easier by having the platforms not moving. <laughs> there we go, so we're making stuff, except when I asked you to help me with alright. I, 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 I mean, it all... How do, how do, I, how do I frame this? It, all it is is that it's like... I finished work, and it's like the last thing I want to think about is like more programming or something like that. Uh, and so it's just like, uh, I get a bit burnt out. 
Um, I'm trying to pace myself so I don't get like tons of burns out by retro tumors. Nah, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Your heart's in the right place. It's all fine. Help me get through <laughs> the bugs life back then. Bugs Life is a tricky game. Like, I remember when I was actually, like, younger, and I'd be like, there's no way you can get, like, everything in this game. And now it's like, eh, it's fine. And then I play, um... I played earlier this year, like, a few... Oh, there's another one! They're all different accounts, by the way. They're all different accounts. Whoops. Yeah, Bugs Life isn't, like, too... It's not too bad. I mean, I did, I did a stream of it, like, a while ago again, just to, like, replay it. It is... It is disorienting. It... it level 5, especially, is actually, like... Tons brutal. I don't know why. Make me molly or ban the bots. I don't need to ban the bots. They're just, they're just they only pose once. Work with lemon. <laughs> maybe one day. Maybe one day. I, I I don't have like anything that's like too bannable right now. Alright, so, uh... Oh, I don't have the ledge going, so that means that this is, uh, this is gonna be a bit of an interesting jump if I try it. Which I will. There you go. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of silence, there's a lot of, um... Just the tragic fall, the tragic fall. Did the hundred star with the time stop? Yeah, I <laughs> grabbed it as well, and then I hit the stick like the wrong way. I keep forget I keep forgetting if it's like you actually do you hit the stick or do you hit a. Different games have different rules on how you grab ledges, and I always just do like stick in the direction, and that's never the same thing in every game. I'll get there. I'll get there. There's there's other games I'll play through, and it's just like oh like you know oh it's obvious I, I know it like. I'll, I'll probably say Metroid Prime in two streams is probably, like, the one. Um, there was another one I played through. I probably had some struggles in Duke Nukem 3D, but just as a no, that was the hard difficulty level the whole time. <laughs> I can make you model my streams. Ooh! Stream gang. I forgot how many coins are in this level, like, uh, on, you know, in total, just so, you know, how hard is it to get 100, but I don't think, uh, 100 is too out of the ballpark. There's definitely a lot of, like, weird ledges here and there. Whoa, 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 whoa. that was a bit of a, a bit of a save and a heart. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the sloppiest jumps in the world, I tell ya. There we go. First try. We got there, we got there. Ah, uh, coins in the block. Yeah, it's got a lot of those blocks, yeah. I'm curious what, like, um, timing you'd put it at. Uh, to get a hundred coins. We'll put it on, we'll put it on 12, we'll just put it on freeze. Cause then you can get the red coins as well, I guess. Cause yeah, like this block, I mean this had like 10 coins in it right off the bat, so easy. Yeah, we might as well do 100 now. Two more 100 point stars. It's all good, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoy this game, even if uh, I sort of suck at it at some points. It's very, like... You know, newer games are a lot more forgiving, just in general, but also, you know, Mario especially, it's just like, yeah, like, you've got that spin, he's very, like, the levels are much, like, larger and snappier. But this game is great, still, and it's not even like a, oh, of its time great, I think it does, like, properly hold up. It's definitely a bit, like, vintage, ah. Oh. It's a bit vintage at, po at points, and obviously, Nintendo 64 launch title. One of the best viewers. Everyone here is one of the best viewers. There's a 
lot <laughs> it's probably a lot easier to get these when it's not moving. Oh exactly, exactly. There's a lot of I mean there's a lot of games that have like the speedrunning potential, speedrunning demographic. Um they're always quite quite popular as well. I haven't really like checked in with the, the insights on just like what like what are some other games that like have that long term you know, kind of stability and not necessarily nostalgia, but just like just yeah, you're like I don't know, people play this old game again and again still. Like Half Life One has that, you know. Age of Empires Two, yeah, Age of Empires Two is one of those. Uh, I'll mention Payday Two. That's not like that old a game, but it's like people. I think more people still play Payday Two than Payday Three at this point. Yeah, A O is great. We gotta watch out, we got one of these... One of these Chucksters again. Uh, I haven't gone over in this direction, but just note there is another star. And, uh, you've got this wonderful blue coin switch, which is, uh, on a bit of a precarious ledge. Well, that's some easy free coins. Head into a bit. Bad example. <laughs> it did. It changed so much. I made like a video essay on it and then it changed as I made the video essay and I had to get the video essay out in time or else it would be entirely out of date. Classic Tomb Raider. Ah, good old classic Tomb Raider. There we go. Uh, I don't think there were that many coins to my right. So let's try and go over here, which is towards... You know, the other, well, I guess it's not really towards another star, though, is it? Hmm. I... Payday 3 at launch was, like, real negatively received, and I think it's partially a pricing and a feature thing. Um, Hug Day. Hug Day. There you go, there's more boxes up here. They don't all have 10 coins though. But there's a lot of ledges you can grab onto. Uh, this one's a bit precarious when the switches are stopped. But that's okay. Yeah, there's a lot of coins in there. Okay, cool. We all need a bit of hug to analyze, that is true. I think we should be good off this box, right? Nope. The next box? I did see that box there. Alright, maybe... Do I go for it? Ow. That's a pretty safe jump. That... It's <laughs> for a one-up. Because the center of these also slips you. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, steer, steer, Mario. Oh. We are right down at the start, which fortunately there's a heart, but also, yeah, a bit of a oof. Come on, there's got to be like three coins somewhere around here, right? I shouldn't have gone for it. Yeah, I'm regretting my life decisions more and more each passing moment. It's because... Every mistake, at least I forget about the mistake I made before. <laughs> I don't think there are any coins, like, on the part where the platform would move around. Yeah, I think it's just further up. I just gotta keep going. There's <laughs> not as many- There's not as many coins as I remember. I swear there was, like, a solid, like, 120 or so. Whoop. Sometimes I'm like, I just want to like, turn like that, you know? And sometimes I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm probably in motion and that's what makes Mario like, instead he walks around into that direction and that's what throws me off. 
however long I've played this game and I still don't get 100% used to that. But like that, for example, it's like, oh, don't lose your way. I, okay, yeah, we need, we need to not like get, get salty. We are 11 stars away. I'm 11 stars away. We're, we're nearly there. We're doing 100 coins. We're at 97. We're close. Master on the keyboard. Dude, keyboard is really impressive. Like, if you play this game without an analog stick at all, it's like, that's that's a feed in the heart. Mad props to you for doing that. I'm not counting the DS game. The DS game's easier. It's got a run button. Ooh. We are in the praise gang. I wanna praise you with vacuum. There we go. Just precarious jumps all over. Oh, I gotta do this part again. Uh, there we go. Recently got a control, I'll be using it for the coin subset. It's the coin subset is absolutely savage. If um Lethal Lava Land is personally like the one I find just the harshest. Wow, look at that. The, it was right up here the whole time. It was right up here the whole time. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Alright, time to get uh some some stars. There's still two more stars. So, there's one here, if the clock was moving. Uh, you may be able to get it with a long jump. Maybe? Maybe? Actually, you could probably get it from down there. So I'm trying to think, like, which one, which one do I not want to go back to? Yeah, it's kind of just there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's gotta still be on the swamp at the end of the day. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, that's a bit of a ledge. Okay, well, we're getting the other one. Uh, the other one I think we saw on the way here. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, yeah, that's a. You're gonna need to know about that one if you're doing your, um, your coin collectors, but, uh, it's not too bad at the end of the day. All right, where's our... There's nothing above me, right? Yeah, like it had to have been... Lower, that one. Yeah, there it is, jeez, yeah. Fairly low. So it's not this one, it's, uh... Below that. Okay, a bit, a bit too f Oh, no, actually, no, that was a good job. There we go. Pathways, we're good, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I, have, I haven't even attempted playing Sunshine on Retro Achievements, I'll tell you. The blue coins are already sadistic, just of the game itself, but... Nine stars left. Uh, we need to actually have the clock moving, so let's put it on three. <laughs> <laughs> putting it on nine, that's crazy. Uh, the hour hand does nothing, by the way, don't worry about that. Stomp on the thwomp. That's right, it's the one, it's the one there at the very, very tip top of the level. Tip top of the tick tock. Even the core sunshine set seems challenging. Yeah, I... Like, I never actually grew up with sunshine, so... My knowledge of it is quite limited. I've played through it twice. Just casually, but yeah. Let's just say if I play Mario 64 like this, just be, be warned how I how I play Sunshine. Oh, I'm actually not that bad, at Sunshine. I think I I have an easier time, at Sunshine. Uh, if you're using the 15 uh, minute hand, it'd be at 15. True, true. I guess it'd be at 15. It's like tennis. 15, 30, 40. And to this day, I still don't know why it's that. Sunshine is a mystery. Why did... Why is Sunshine the way that it is? 
It's fun from a technology angle, but it's certainly like some of its levels are like, ooh, okay. Can we get Miyamoto to explain why he's got the, like, pachinko level? <laughs> what was going through his head? Uh, cool. <laughs> the pachinko level feels very, just, out of character. Oh wait, this is for it. This is this is for a, one up. It's for one up. I don't need to go over there. Ah, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't even. I think I don't. It's it's weird. As I was growing up, I don't think the GameCube was really that underrated a console. It's just that the PS2. That's that's the comparison point. And, uh, here I am playing through Gran Turismo 3. That's my retro achievement game of choice right now. Um, we're nearly done with it. We're nearly through. Um, the Dreamcast, on the other hand. Yeah, the Dreamcast... I think the Dreamcast does get, like, fairly overlooked. Um, I had a lot of mates. Granted, this is probably an age thing. Um, but it's like, I had a lot of mates and they were like, I didn't even realize the Dreamcast even, like, existed. Like, that's how, like no name it was over here yeah the people love the wii definitely definitely the wii was great people love the wii u no they didn't <laughs> actually the people who owned a wii u uh, myself included I, I did enjoy the wii u for what it was but certainly it's like it was constantly having the inferior versions of games and i wouldn't really like I mean, it's weird, because I'm thinking like, well, I mean, that's kind of like every console nowadays. Except the Switch at least is handheld. Whereas the PS5 and stuff, it's like, oh, like, what's the reason? Oh, no, I double- oh, I second-guessed myself. I second-guessed it. I was like, oh, I hit the block. Yeah, because, I mean, if the game is on a console that you find to be better, then there's not a lot of purpose for you to buy the game for that console, unless it's like the Switch. I like how I caught up in time for the, for the second to get the one game. I don't know why I bought a PS5 with no games to buy. The Wii, the Wii U has a, a great number of exclusives. Um, although the Wii U died off real quick though, that was the thing. The PS5 still has the... Uh, promise of something coming along, but the Wii U, it was like, after like 2014, it was like, oh, what, what is there to get? Um, I gotta try and do a double jump onto this swamp. Oh, stop turning, Mario, you wanna look? There you go. Easy. That's TikTok clock, we have one well to go. We're getting there. <laughs> um, the Wii U had the fifth best selling game of all time. We did it, boys. So, going over into the other direction, we have Rainbow Ride. Uh, I put I put in my uh, stream announcement. Uh, yeah, Mario Kart 8 is the fifth best-selling game of all time. Uh, it's not 5 hours. <laughs> We're not doing 5 hours. I think we can definitely... I, I feel like I'm actually better at... um. Hold on. I I feel like I'm actually better at um Rainbow Ride because I know you can just like do this jump right here. And there's two stars in this direction. Rainbow Ride is a fun free-for-all level. It is brutal to the people who keep falling off. But I le I mean, the number of times I fell off on TikTok clock was insane. But I think the platforms in this one just make so much more sense to me. And also you have very, like, orthogonal, like, angles. Everything is just 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Except for the one magic carpet ride near the end. That's the only part that's going to be a little weird to me. But, uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of different- oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay. It's got a bunch of different directions. Uh, Thwomp and TTC is the same one as Locked Up in Bowser's Castle. It could be. There were two in Bowser's Castle, weren't there? Oh, yeah, platforms- yeah. Have you seen those, like, fake games? The one where they, like, dodge the platforms? I love- <laughs> The concept of fake TikTok games. It's like, what's going on there? Tom emoji.
Same with the fake. Yeah, the fake game. Somewhat. I like the the. There was also a game made about the fake game ads. What what even are these? Like I have ad blockers on. I do not witness a lot of these, but then I just see people comment on these fake, like these fake game ads, and it's like, what is going on in them? <laughs> Compliments. Compliments are plenty. This is a very complimentary stream. Uh, both with an I and an E. I love these cheese block or sponge platforms, they're great. So there's another star if you just keep going right here. Um, We're good. And then you got these wonderful triangular platforms. There are no coins in this direction, so I sort of watched that up real bad, though. I, I watched it up real bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You gotta go quick on those. Those ones fall out real quick, but it's not that bad. It's it's a very like clear and open level as well. Like at the end of the day, it's like okay, you gotta you gotta magic carpet right around there. The hard part. Most likely is going to be the, the you know the hundred coins at the end. But there's a there's a lot of there are a lot of coins on this level, so it's probably not the worst. You can probably dodge some parts of the level when grabbing a hundred coins. I don't know. I'll, 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 we'll see. What, we'll see what I do. This one is like a very aesthetic level. I don't know. I, I love I love Rainbow Ride. Oh, this, oh wait, hold on. Do the death counter, by the way. That was one death. Oh. Yeah, that was a bit better, wasn't it? I'm not doing carpetless though. <laughs> you got where the red coins are. There are a lot of other coins to get, so. That's, that's probably where I'm going to have most of mine. Um, going to the castle in the top is actually like probably the last one I want to do. I should might as well just go for 100 coins now while we're at it. Uh, this shy guy is one of the worst things when you're doing your hunt, uh, you know, your old coin achievement, by the way. I hate it. Because then it's like that. Oh, it didn't fall off. We're good. We're good. Uh, so we've got a few coins lying about, but also you've got this lower area, which I think has this all the way at the far end. Oh, it's for the one-up. Never mind. You already know. Don't even need it, apparently. I've been getting all these, uh, every single time it's just like, oh, you know, you're getting a hundred coins, you're getting lives everywhere. Give me my swinging pendulum of doom. That was a that was a smooth drum. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, I I don't know. I enjoy this level, uh, even if it's a bit tricky. It's a final world, you know. You got to be tricky in some ways. Appreciate being on the right side of the blocks. Nice. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sure. I... Knowing it carpetless... Uh, the carpetless, like, strats are insane, though. Is that carpetless for 100 coins as well? Like, all seven... S oh, whoops. For all seven stars, it's carpetless. Where was this Goomba? Where was he chilling? Cause that'd be insane doing it for a hundred coins. It could probably be done, but uh doing the the rest of the jumps, I don't uh <laughs> Alright, past the Spongebob block. 
Uh, might as well just double check up here. I know I, I went up here before, but like, I'm just mentally thinking like, I don't, okay, there were no more points. It was just those ones. And then here, are there any other coins beyond this? I don't think there were actually, so maybe I should wander back. Yeah, let's wander back. <laughs> Rookie error doing the ground pound the wrong way on that. Uh, yeah. But no, I, I know, I've been enjoying this game. Uh, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Uh, so each of these platforms, well, two of these platforms have eight coins on it, so that's alright. And uh, if I can somehow manage to get the lagger to. There you go. Uh, and he. Ooh. Hate spines, I tell ya. There we go. Lots of coins. Uh, we'll leave the the area with the red coins for later because those ones are fairly straightforward. And then also I can get the 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 red coin star there. Actually, because yeah, you've got the blue coins there as well. So I think it shouldn't be too much longer after you take the carpet ride. Uh, I always turn the camera around in some places, because I just want to, like, see it the other way. I see it orthographically. Is orthographic even the word? It's more like just diagonally. And then, uh, we're going oh, oh, to go left, because there's a lot of... A lot of coins this way. I guess we're gonna have to miss. Oh, I was gonna say we're gonna have to miss that one, but apparently I missed all of them. <laughs> Didn't even trigger the platform. Ah. All right. Well, that's okay. We'll go back for that one later. Maybe. So I think if you. Well, I. <laughs> Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> that wasn't quite how I was expecting to do that, but sure, okay. Uh, there is a cannon. It's a gutsy spot for a cannon. But sure, okay. Um, that's fair, that's fine. Uh, so where do we go? Alright, 53. I'm just mentally thinking, do I have enough coins? Um, we're at 53. I forget how many blue coins are down the bottom, and also as well, if you goof up the blue coins. You know, whoops. This is the tense part of the run, suddenly. It's like, oh. He's gotta get the red coins without goofing it up. I think you can, yeah, you can jump on the back wall as well, so that's nice. There's one to my right, and then there's one down below. Here we go. Down on the ground, another SpongeBob block. Why not? <laughs> okay, sure, yeah. yeah. Alright, funny number. Okay, I, I always botch up. <laughs> I always botch up the blue coins here, though, so... Oh, gosh. Actual botch up. Actual real botch up right there. Oh, my goodness. We've done it again. Actual botch up. That's okay. I... I find them tricky. I'm too used to Mario... Galaxy where it just snaps to them. It just goes for it. Uh, well, I might as well grab that, but let's not accidentally grab the star while I'm at it. There's still plenty of other coins to grab, such as the pirate ship, and quite a few in the castle still as well. And there's also that box that's on top of everything there, but, um... 
I, I say there, the prepositions. As in, on top of that maze, there was that box you saw for a brief moment. Um, I forget how many coins are in that. Let's just say there's five. Like, there's, there's, there's a few sources for more coins here. We can, we can catch up. We can get there. <laughs> it's like, you're doing 120 in Mario 64. This is where, this is where the boys become men. This is, uh, the real chest on hair scenario. Got that little ledge there, uh, which leads to the, I think this actually, no, that doesn't lead to the pirate ship. That's just, uh, that's a bait. Well, it's not a bait, it's just, uh, if you want to do it, um, carpetless, I guess. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a doozy spot there. And we gotta jump over this. And then because the carpet disappears after a while, it's like, oh. But again, this is like, this is a very vintage Mario kind of platforming section. If anything, it reminds me of the auto-scrollers, which, uh, there are no explicit auto-scrollers in, uh, this game. You know, in the same way, like, the, the camera's always on Mario there. Uh, this is the end of your platform. And, uh, you got a star there, but I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a few extra things you can get. Uh, this one is actually a bit painful for coins, because... You're gonna be blown around a little bit here, but that's okay. And let's see if we can get this lacquer to. There we go. Whoa. So we've got this pole. I'm trying to remember if there are any coins up here. I think they had a one up. There you go. Uh, you got the, the far ledge over there. Do I dare aim for that at 91 coins, or do I just try to go for the castle? How many coins were in that direction? I don't think there are any coins over there. Off the top of my head. I would prefer going for uh, that ledge over there. So let's, let's try and get up on this ledge, and... Oh, it's a bit precarious to get back down, isn't it? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm tensing up. Eh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, okay, here comes the fun part. Dropping down onto the flying carpet just below, because it is just below there. And also being sort of at the right height. Thanks for the follow, smad. Smad that. There we go. Whoa. Smad with the... Hello, homie. I had great joy. Oh, thank you, my man. Oh, he's got a Discord. Oh. Oh, this is a bit awkward. Hold on. <laughs> if you crawl, you can't fall off. I guess. Hold on. We're gonna get this carpet of respawn. Emmy, Emmy Creator. It's a very different name to Twitch. There you go. Oh. No! Oh! <laughs> it was a first time chat. It was a first time chat. I got. Uh, I said more than two times, but. I mean, I, rule of thumb, like, you don't add random people on Discord or anything because. It's Discord. I am, I am in pieces, or I'm in shambles. I'm in shambles right now. <laughs> Hold on, let's go back for the... No, no, we'll, we'll grab these ones again, but oh my gosh. I blame the blue coins. I should have gone for the blue coins. Where where are the other blue coins off the top of my... The top of the... My head, it was, uh... It must have been on the ground then, instead of up the wall jumps, right? Because, I mean, I know I fell down, but like... The blue coins really, like, all... They can't all just be up the wall jumps, and I just only managed to find one because I was a bit too slow, right? 
What? SpongeBob. One Goomba. Yeah, I didn't say this was an easy one for the <laughs> for the all coins, let alone the hundred coins. I tell you, this one's one of the trickier ones, but I still think Loop of Lava Land's a bit more brutal because there's more enemies to deal with. Also, there's a this coin's on the starting, like, platform there, right? Maybe I should just go over to that instead. Oh, I can see what I mean. Aren't there coins? Yeah, there's coins up there. I could have just gotten these instead. I'm in like attentive mode. I'm in like, oh my gosh, like, don't fall, don't goof it. I set myself a challenge. No more than two deaths. And we're at two deaths, so. Alright, one of those is gone. And that one is going. Wow, okay. Never more! Exactly. Oh, that coin came straight at me. Jeez. So yeah, are the... <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see in a hot second. Are the other blue coins on the ground here, or...? No, they are all up the wall jumps. Man, that is tricky, but at least I got a couple more this time. Unfortunately, only a couple more. Like, I'd still need to get another 10 coins uh, from elsewhere before coming back for these, so... Let's not fall this time. Yes, yes, let's not fall. Let's not fall. Let's, uh, uh, once more with spirit. Gosh, the music's a vibe, though. It's the stuff of nightmares. I think some people are gifting the stream with good vibes. Exactly! We need good vibes to get us through the 100 coins. If there's one thing, I think playing through this again has given me, like, a, a reminder. This, you know, Mario 64 and somewhat Sunshine were kind of like the vintage... Um, and, and Banjo-Kazooie, I guess. With the vintage, like... Let's play games. You know what I mean? It's like the kind of collectathons where you can go in any order and you can. You know, a lot of options. Oh, we're up here, we're up here. I'm getting it. I'm getting these coins, dang it. They weren't coins. Isn't there a warp spot, like, here on the corner? Yeah, I've, I've completely forgotten where everything is. There's a, there is a warp spot, like, it's really arbitrary. I forgot, oh, I've completely forgotten where the warp spot is. Unless the wind, like, really stops you from standing still on it. Definitely won't be able to get the goods like that. Okay, we're once more with feeling. I sort of don't want to go up to the pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I sort of don't want to go up to the pirate ship, so maybe we'll just go to the castle. Um, I'm not sure if there's any warps that are one way. I feel like most of them are two way, but. Yeah, you're probably right where it's like standing on the ledge. And having it like blow you across is, you know, it's not helping. You can't just run extra life. Yeah. It's happened a few times. 
But hey, I haven't died yet. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm going left. We're going to the castle because I know the castle has, like, a ton of coins. And it also actually has the warp that leads you back out. The warps are very, like, interesting design points, I'll tell you that, though. Check the levels code. I feel- I- I feel like it is two-way. It really does feel like it should be two-way. Um... So this castle is the furthest point in the level, and you- Like, if you're doing this, uh... You know... Uh, carpetless, um... Good luck, fellas. Real- real good luck on that one. Got a few coins there. It's very easy to get singed there because the camera perspective is uh, a bit interesting. But yeah, there's a warp on the edge of this plank. How many coins do I need? Maybe I should actually go for the plank. Instead of just like actually walking in this direction because it's like, well, I, I need a... Uh, well, now seven coins, and there's seven red coins left. Like, there's. I can get the red coins, and we're good. Yeah, let's go for the red coins. Like, literally one, and then we're good. Okay. A little bit of care. And then you get to the end of this ledge, and it warps you onto that, uh, that part. Oh. Is the end of this ledge? Nope, we're going a bit closer. there. Where was it? Oh my gosh. It, maybe it was in the castle. The warp. I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot. On the balcony? Yeah, the balcony makes a bit more sense. Corner. Other corner. The edge I was standing on. A little bit of a ledge. I do remember the warp being there, but I just, I'm blanking out real hard. Now the balcony? It's not really a balcony, it's more like a window sill. Am I tweaking? Am I remembering things wrong? I don't recall it. Left corner of the balcony, you bugged- oh. Yeah, I, it might have been because I was, like, pressing up against the wall. Uh, depends, depends who's left, I guess. Uh... I, were there more coins? Are there coins above? Like, on the, on the top of the carpet? Sorry, at, at the top of the castle? Oh my gosh, where is this war? Hold on, we're, we're Googling this, holy crap. Rainbow Ride War. Uh... Rainbow Ride War. Text description. When you flood to the jump on the carpet, walk outside it's down on the center edge. Just like, right here. Oh, there, yeah, okay. Alright. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm not goofing it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. The top of the castle has a lot. Yes. Alright, we didn't die. I just wasted time. But that's okay. The personal challenge was, uh, to not die. Unfortunately, the personal challenge was to not die full stop, uh, more than two times, so, uh, we sort of still have to get, um, how many stars? I've gotten one or two now. <laughs> Actually, we're at three, yeah. And now we're gonna be at four. Three hours trip? Nah, we'll be three hours. Hands down, we'll be three hours. Yeah, I personally I think that um I mean it was it was a little iffy there, but um yeah, like 
I do feel like a tiny huge island is just more annoying because there's a lot of chances to fall off. Uh, we're just gonna not take that carpet right at the beginning. And instead, take the carpet right now. Whoa. You think it's weird that you can kill the Lakitu with the power of your head in this game? See, now it's easy. Now this, this level is, like, straightforward because we've done the hundred coins. All it involves is riding this carpet, like, three times. But it's like, oh, it's such a breath of fresh air. A wonderful foray in the sea of clouds around us. To be joyous on this fine occasion, this fine visit to the Rainbow Ride. Uh, we're gonna do the- I'll do the castle next, because we were sort of there already. Actually, I was sort of there on the pirate ship as well. But it's like- it's like, once you- once you've done the hundred coins, it's like, you know exactly what you're in for. You've been there. You've done that. The hundred coins is a- is a test. It's definitely a- you know, it's a challenge, but it's also... How do I put it? It's a hallmark of knowledge, of, of really, like... You you understood this level, and you know it. You know it so well. I guess that's something that not a lot of Mario games even had at the time. And to some degree, don't even have now. Maybe Mario Odyssey has a fair bit of that. Yeah, we just got to keep the the carpet in a uh, in flight, if you will. I'm trying to think, are there any other Mario games with flying carpets? I think there's more Crash Bandicoot games with flying carpets than Mario. And yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a reference point. It's like there are other 3D. There's quite a bunch of other 3D platformers that existed before Mario 64 or in the same year as Mario 64. Um, but I just feel like there's something very, like, you know, yeah, profound about how this game you know, sets itself up. I hate this, like, time. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I hate that timing with the with the uh, fireplace. Mario Brothers 2. That is true. It also has uh, fly guys. Does it have fly guys or shy guys? It's got yeah. There were no coins up here. My theory was right. <laughs> Although, if I was wrong, I would literally have just jumped down. <laughs> and then Mara bonking his head every time on that. Shy Guy's first appearance. Ample bombs! And I'm trying to think whether any other enemies that have appeared in specifically this game? I can't think of any. Mouses really haven't shown up again. Uh... Pokies? Even Mario Kart 7 is Shy Guys, yeah. What Pokies from Mario 2? The floating Eyes, yeah. Was it Phantos, the, the masks that hate it when you pick up the key? As Mario, Mario 2 is a game that, like... There's a lot of, like... Bizarre... Oh yeah, Birdo. Birdo's not in this game though, at least, but... Um, yeah, Birdo's in tons of things now. Actually, I don't think Birdo's in as much as, like... Rosalina these days. Yeah, and Bobons, yeah. Oh, that's... Okay, I was like, don't have the spiny on the platform, please. Um, Mario 2... I really need to, like, properly sit down and, like, beat Mario 2. And not just, like, the Mario Advance version, but, like... Um, Yoshi's GF. <laughs> you like, uh, Mario getting kind of squished there. There's something a bit weird where, like, when Mario's on a platform and it moves up into a ceiling, which rarely happens in this game, but that's an example of it. Uh, Super Mario 64 only enemies or Mario Brothers 2? I, uh, spe okay, specifically Mario Brothers 2 enemies. Yeah, the floating eyes. Yeah, the floating eyes are only in this game. Yeah, Scuttlebugs are... Really, only from this game. Um, 
Yeah, Nessie is uh, brand new in this one. Bowser. Okay, we're good. We're gonna go up here twice, don't we, as well? There we go. We're good. And the New Super Mario Bros. 2. New Super Mario Bros. 2, the game that everyone enjoys and loves. I I rip on Mar New Super Mario Bros. 2 a lot. <laughs> one day, one day, you know, if I got if I got the time and ability to play through it, I, I, as I mentioned, it's like I'm gonna queue up a real, real long game. Um, not next on stream, but like it's gonna be next year. It's like I gotta get back around to a long one. It's like oh. You know, I looked away to look at chat, and then I was like, oh boy, that that would have been embarrassing being that that's the way I die for the third time. <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. 1 is great, and I am pretty indifferent to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I like New Super Mario Bros. U a lot, but I haven't played Luigi. But the, yeah, 2, I'm like, nah, 2, two just didn't sit well with me. Not that it was, like, bad, but that it was just, like, average. It was just like, yeah, I've, I've been there, done that. It literally has all the same music from the DS game. Like, un unironically, it is a lot of the same music. It's like, oh, okay. Um, and, uh... Did you know New Super Mario Bros. 2 has a game over screen? Does Mario Wonder count as a new Super Mario Bros. game? I feel like it does. I do like Mario Wonder a lot. I don't love it enough to call it a... Like... A game of the year. Um... Or, well, I, I guess it's a game of the year, but it's like, man, it was also a bit of a dry year. Like, there's other years that have... More games to really, like, note... Over Mario Wonder, so... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really, like, demand it to be hard, but that, like, New Super Mario Bros. 2 is, like, not even, like, easy. It's kind of like, it, it almost plays itself. Most of the power-ups just kind of easy mode some levels. Alright, I know I've only died twice in this level, but, uh, this is probably going to be the, uh, the make-it-or-break-it scenario. You gotta line up straight, and you gotta somehow hit that pole, and you also gotta watch out for the lag too in case he ever swings right in front of your camera view. Alright, we are dead on. Let's go for it. And you gotta deal with the, the Chuckster as well. Yeah. 3D Land and 3D World are amazing. I am- I am impressed, by the way. I only died twice in this level. Which means, the tweet didn't jinx me! We didn't get jinxed by the tweet. People can't say I'm bad. I said, if I die more than two times, you can call me bad. <laughs> we did it. We did it in two lives. I died more in TikTok clock than that. We're at 119 stars, which means, finally, the final level. That's right. We don't have to backwards long jump, but why not? You can, you can do it. It's good fun. That was a smooth execution right there. I know, I know, but like, the pink bob bomb is just literally a chuckster. So this is the final Bowser level. It's uh, a bit more like the first one, um, in terms of its design. The, uh... Isn't there another? Oh, the pink bob bombs, yeah. I love this dollar sign platform. There's also these fun ramps that remind me of the, well, I mean, there's another point in the game that's got that. If you actually miss some levels in the game, you probably get up to this point and go, what am I doing here? No, you just run up it. It's fine. Uh, but it reminds me of the pillars in a uh, shifting sand land. There are a lot of lives in this level as well, so don't feel bad about missing any. And uh, also, yeah, uh, just mental note. Um, there's another one up there. There's a uh, a red coin here, which is a very cheeky spot. Did I miss one in the lower part? It feels like I missed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, the box, yeah. Yeah, good catch. Good catch, that would have been upsetting if I went way too far. I may have 
pushed out a bit dangerously close to that side. Yeah, okay, 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I deserve that death there. <laughs> Hey, we're done with Rainbow Ride. The bet, the bet was done. The bet was Rainbow Ride. It doesn't matter how many times I die now. <laughs> Probably should have like just ran right past it as well. Now, it's not an easy red coin star, but we've done worse. Take your patience, this level's not that bad. And again, the music is just hype. It's amazing. I love it. The all the music in this game is hype. There is not a single bad song in this game. It's just like, super iconic. Uh, the sound font is iconic. Yeah, oh yeah, the galaxy versions are great. There's lots more coins around here. Um, you know, if you care about coins. Certain, certain retro achievements gatherers will need to care about coins, but uh, for me, don't need a... Oh, 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 okay. For me, I've been there, I've done that, we don't need to worry about it. Now there's a fun shortcut if you just backflip here, but I think one of the red coins is in this direction. And you can do uh, this. Thanks for the follow, I Tom. Thank you very much. I've got a bunch of followers to stream. I've had like streams where it's like no one at all, and we've got a wonderful group of people. So thank you all very much for being along for the ride. Did smash it? Oh, maybe yeah. And there was no red coin when I said there was a red coin. I always like taking a the hit there for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> got the coins afterwards. Alright, so we got this this set of platforms is a bit precarious here. This isn't a rainbow ride, this is like a purple ride. Uh, I always like to want a double jump. That seems to be my safe way of getting that. And then this platform, I love it, it just flips around like the arrow just spins around and it's going the other way now. Cheeky red coin spot there. Um, turn the camera so Mario faces away and you can jump up in this direction. Uh, also, if you're going for all the coins, just note the Goombas that walk off this ledge. It's actually the worst thing. And then, I, I love the, um, the shells on the, uh, the platforms as well. Uh, we're almost there as well. So, very nice. Um, got, uh, another spinny- oh! Yeah, that was a bit of a drop, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, he spawns on the death plane. Yeah, true. I would probably not want to die here. That's that would be a little embarrassing, wouldn't it? Don't worry, we got the heart right there. The heart is such a curious like. Yeah, it was just a spinny. The heart is a very uh, curious Mario 64 item because uh, no other Mario game really. Has just a heart chilling there, or even uses hearts for healing, right? First time work. Yeah, yeah. Every other Mario game has, um, unless you're gonna count Yoshi's Island. But um, every other Mario game, uh, yeah, generally it's just the you know tall, short, dead. Um, Sunshine's got the the health again. Uh, Galaxy has the health. Uh, Odyssey has the health. That seems to be the 3D trend. I feel like this one's a trickier one. Um, trick with here, by the way, is just to run to the end. And then tilt the camera. And don't fall off. And uh, that's where your 8th coin is. So, we did it. We did it. Also, uh, there exists a 1-up here. 
And uh, if you die in the Bowser fight, I believe you just show up like here, right on these steps. So if you ever die on this final boss fight, just always grab that one up. It's always there. That's star number 120. Make sure that you save the game here as well, because uh, you've got to turn off the console hard after the boss fight. Shalom, Gabe Bowser. Oh, we haven't said goodbye yet. So here is Bowser. He is big, bad, and takes three hits this time. <laughs> Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped within the walls. They're in the walls, they're in the walls. So what does Bowser have this time up his sleeve? Uh, he breathes fire. I think he did that before. He doesn't make the platform rock this time. Uh, final boss music is incredible as well. Oh, that was a good throw. I usually struggle with getting these right on right on point. We're doing the rematch with the penguin. I will do the rematch with the penguin. There's two things I gotta show off, and one's the rematch with the penguin. And he is a bit rainbow. Oh, yeah, that, that's usually how I throw him. Uh, not too bad. And obviously, if you can catch him at the far... It's a bit precarious, isn't it? Oh, he'd be running. He'd be running. Don't worry, you got five points to hit him with. Oops, and you can just throw him right off the edge. The other thing to watch out for, when he lands on the ground hard, he will break pieces. And also do this double shockwave, which I endearingly call the generic ground pound attack, but it's really more the shockwave. Um, it's such a 90s thing. You will probably be able to count like 20 different games where an edit, where a boss jumps and lands on the ground and just emits a shockwave. I wish the, uh, the resolution on that circle was a bit higher though. Or if it was a uh, polygonal. Because I, I think there's a lot of things you could tell with this game, like... Um, oh, wow, that was a lot weaker than I expected. Um, there's a lot of things in this game where it's like... On a technical level, there are probably better things you could do than like a sprite for that circle. Especially when it gets larger and larger. Alright, come on, we gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta get that. That's a good throw. Nope, never mind. I do struggle with this fight, I tell ya. But, hey, nothing, nothing hurts with throwing him off all the time, other than, again, your time. Oh, we're going this way again. No. I don't think it matters how hard you throw him. But... You can throw him like fairly above. No, this is we're gonna we're gonna be three hours. Uh, after the second hit, he will make all the surrounding platforms fall. Bye. The same. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Look, the final star was inside us all along, or on Bowser's wonderfully abstract platform. You have to try and like just before. It, yeah. Yeah, this is like the ultimate test for people on keyboard, by the way, doing this. We did it! Three hits and he goes... No, you've really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops worthless. They turned over all the power stars. What? There are 120 in all? Amazing. There were some in the castle that I missed. Now I see peace returning to the world. Ooh, I really hate that. I can't watch them out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that control stick smoking. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. I hope people like quote that forever. Keep that control stick smoking. I feel like the dialogue is the most understated point of this game as well. Most people have played this game so many times they just skip past it all. But <laughs> I bet you can't beat me by grabbing me from the behind and spinning me around. Literally, King Babom in the first level gives it away. So, uh, but yeah, with a wonderful fanfare and Mario, uh, he flies in circles at the end of the day. We land on the ground, and the wing cap, I guess, disappears. Also, you can technically do this level without even unlocking the wing cap. Uh, who's that on the roof there? Turns out Peach was just in the window the whole time.
again, the same music from Mario Brothers, and in fact it sort of is the same thing from Super Mario Brothers where she like descend, actually does she descend? Not from the original, it seems every other remake she descends, the first time beating this game while doing the set. Very nice, very very nice. And yeah, yeah, legit, if you haven't played the Retro Achievement set, do it. It's, it's a top shelf set, it's got a lot of thought to it, a lot of tricky parts to it, but it gets you real thinking about this game more than, you know, the average player maybe does. And Finding all of its fun you. secrets. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Hey, you know. Let's bake a delicious cake. How many of us have been kissed by a princess? I can say that a special moment. There's a bit of a, a fourth wall break, I feel, there. I feel like Mario is looking more at the player of that one. Also, birds. Can I just say, that's a great, like, just ending site, visually. Oh, the, the Switch Palace hasn't been activated. Uh, but yeah, and then we have a nice little credits crawl, which uh, flies through various levels in the game. Um, and it's something that I feel like is amazing about the, um, the Nintendo 64, is that you can just, like, fade to black, immediately load into the next level. Because... You know, you got your cartridge, you just read straight at that spot. Uh, this helped set, uh, help me learn the butterflies can give one-ups. Yes, the one-up butterflies, yeah. Yeah, that's some real, like, curious points for, for one-ups. Uh, Mario Face Programmer is the title screen, by the way, if you're wondering what that's going on. Always watching for Rolling Rocks. We jumped a few levels, haven't we? <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this game is great. Um, ways to play it. Uh, out of all the games that Nintendo sort of never seems to port or recreate, Mario 64 is one that has literally been on every console uh, for quite a while. Like, they didn't have a Nintendo uh, or a GameCube version, but they had, uh, you know, the, the Wii had it on the Virtual Console, the Wii U had it on the Virtual Console, it was on the DS, and you could play that on the 3DS, and I'm... Uh, I think they had Mario 64 DS on the Wii U as well, and now they were both released as, uh, part of, well, sorry, no, not both. Mario 64, this version, was released on, uh, Mario 64, uh, Mario 3D All-Stars on the Switch, which you can't buy anymore, but you can totally buy it retail. They're everywhere, don't worry. Um, and, uh, also, it's on the N64 online. There's lots of ways to, uh, to get copies of Mario 64 to play, so don't worry about, uh, it being a hard game to find. But it's certainly a super duper worthwhile game. It probably is Nintendo's like most, you know, ported game. I feel like they've, well, uh, I don't know, actual Super Mario Brothers. But like, they, they really love this one. They do really love this one. And I completely get why. It is a classic. It is, um, it's got a lot of just unique points going for it. And it's so tight. I guess the only thing is that maybe it's a little overplayed. Like, maybe you could say, oh, like, it's Mario 64. It's the Nintendo 64 launch title, and it's Super Mario. It's like, yeah, okay, sure, but, like, for me, it's like, what does Mario mean? And I think this is, this embodies it all. Other than it doesn't have Luigi in this game. <laughs> they were a bit, they were a bit, uh, fine on, uh, Actually having, like, all the old Mario characters in this, weren't they? And there you go. The Thank end. Thank you so much for playing my game. Thank you so much. So anyway, um, if you have an actual Nintendo 64, uh, you sit here for ages. It doesn't go away. No button. Nothing. This game just sits here forever. This was one of my favorite, uh, my favorite aspects of lots of older games, when they don't reset. So, uh... If only you uh, magically saw the uh, RetroArch menu for like a half second right now, just so I quickly hit restart. Because uh, hitting restart it's does that little Mario. Venetian blinds effect. Hello. And obviously the game doesn't save there, so... Uh, so there's two things that we need to show off before we truly call it quits. Uh, which means we might actually make this a three hour stream. First of all, once you get 120 stars, this cannon is finally unlocked. 
you can use this cannon to shoot onto the roof, which is a wonderful secret up here. And uh, you might have seen him in the end there. But there's three one-ups just chilling here, as well as a Yoshi. Hi there. Hi, hi. You want to say hi back? There you go. Mario, is that really you? It's been so long since our last adventure. They told me I might see you if I waited here, but I'd just about given up hope. Is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser and restored the stars to the castle and saved the princess? I knew you could do it. Now I have a very special message for you. Thanks for playing Super Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy the Super Mario 64 team. Wow. Uh, it gives you a lot of lives. I, it's not... Is it 99? Does he actually give you 99? I've completely forgotten the actual number of it. Yeah, it is. What a nice little freebie. Oh, it's 100. Even better. And then he just absolutely skedaddles. Also, you can wing cap around the... Uh, around the castle. <laughs> a grammatical error. Oh, no. And also, given that you've got the cannon, there's uh, some fun, you know, ways you can fly around. Unfortunately, there's not really a lot to see. Uh, this waterfall looks a little interesting, but then, uh... Yeah, you, you see exactly what's up with that. <laughs> You've been waiting for ages. And the other thing is, uh, let's go in, uh, to the castle, and, uh, head to the, the cool, cool mountain. Because we gotta, we gotta re, re-raise that penguin. If you notice in the, uh, end credits, the penguin appeared, but he was, uh, a bit chonky. Whoops. Wrong door. He is thick. He is a thick pengy. Slide down here. Let's uh, make our way back up. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, you beat the game, you get a uh, 120 stars. Uh, that pretty much is your reward, just getting all the the lives there. But uh, personally, I think the pride and accomplishment of uh, actually, you know, seeing everything that the game has to has to offer. And um, there's a lot of like fun. Oh, did you know I was sparkling then, by the way? Preferably helps when you don't go into the first star, instead the one with the uh, penguin in it. Is that a thing? You sparkle when you have a hundred stars? Or hundred? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even notice that before. Is that really you instead of it? Oh, did he say it that? I thought he said is that. Ten, ten bucks for- oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I believe it's just not the first star. The penguins here. There you go. He's so wide! Look at him! And he's like, Mario, what's up, pal? I haven't been on the slide lately, so I'm up out of shape. So I'm always up for a good race, especially against an old sledding buddy. Uh, it doesn't mean too much other than... I think he's, uh... Is he actually physically wider? Because he is the same speed. He's not actually any worse. But it's just... I don't know, it's the fun fact of just... Him being wide. Oh, snap, he's coming. He's going. There he is, wide. That's okay. I'm good. Oh, no, I'm bad. <laughs> I gotta beat him. I gotta beat him. That's that's right. We're doing three hour stream. <sighs> I think he he, yeah, he he did feel a little faster then. So maybe he is faster. We can, we can beat him at his own game. And we could also just... Just cut, cut the slide if we wanted to as well. Oh, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, it's hard to see past him, he's so wide. Don't need no coins, we don't need him. Oh, he's right on me, he's right on me. Because he goes fast at the end here. We're good, we did it, we did it. This is the big, the big penguin race. <laughs> Just the thud into the wall. You broke my record! Unbelievable! I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this start. Uh, that's sort of the same flavor text as before, though. <laughs> but there you go. Actual big penguin race. 
That's a fun little bonus for the end of the end of the thing. Uh, it, it, he is always the big penguin, but now he's the really big penguin. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that is Super Mario 64 in its entirety. There's lots of little, like, fun little secrets and other kinds of things. Obviously, collecting every single coin if you want to. Um, going for the one-ups. Um, there's so many different, like, parts of this game. The wide <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, and just remember, L is real, apparently. Um, and then obviously, yeah, there's the, the DS version, which enhances things and adds a lot of, a lot of fun extra stuff. Um, but other than that, you know, like, I feel like that is Mario 64 in its entirety. We've, we've shown it all. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, any other closing thoughts? Yeah, I... Have I actually played? I don't think I've played the DS version on Retro Achievements, but that was the one I grew up with, so I know more about that one. I think uh, the the stylus mini games, because I I still do not have confidence in using the stylus on emulators. So any DS game I play on stream right now, there's no stylus confidence yet. One day, so yeah, no. I hope everyone here had fun. Um, we then work on remastering it. Ooh, maybe. So. Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you all so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, the stream or you did enjoy it, uh, yeah, you can follow. I stream at 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern. It's daylight time next week. The stream is an hour earlier next week. So uh, we're at three hours now. Uh, think 164 hours from now. Uh, so, so clock four hours. But yeah, so the stream's an hour earlier next week. Um, and, and for the six months. Well, yeah, the six months afterwards. It's basically until the first Sunday of April that it goes uh, back an hour again. Um, but I do get the public holiday on the Monday. So, New South Wales people, congrats. Um, so yeah, if you miss part of this, uh, the full VOD will be on YouTube. And if you miss parts of the rest, also the VODs are on YouTube. So you can just see that. And the VODs of any anything, everything's been on YouTube. Including uh, really, really old videos of mine. So, uh, but yeah. And you can follow me on the on the Fediverse. Uh, just see m.bandow.com. You'll see links for it in places around the internet. So... Uh, but yeah, no, stay safe, eat your greens, don't say, yes, the fetty verse, that's it. Uh, don't stay up too late, and, uh, yeah, no, collect your 120 stars. Peace out, everyone, see ya.